In this video, we're gonna be doing some Hangout Q&A stuff around affiliate marketing, YouTube tips. Um, and so I'm super excited to just be vibing with you. We just got done with the live stream. This will be a little more casual. And so um, thanks so much for being here. If you can hear me loud and clear, um, I'm not even on camera. So that's how not clear and good this stream will be. But what I'm thinking about doing a stream like this, um, I'm not gonna leave this public. I just wanna hang out with you guys and just vibe a little bit. And so uh, we just got down with the training. What's up, the J family? What's up, Becca? What's up, JJ? What's up, Arnish? What's up, Sam? Let's chill, guys. Um, we could do some Q&A. Um, I uh, retype your questions out. We could talk about anything you want, affiliate marketing. I've got a few minutes. What would you say is a safe number of subs to start with with aff affiliate marketing? You know, Kyle, what I would, more than even subs, I'd say what you want is just some proven traffic. Like if you, if you can figure out how to get some proven views, by the way, let me know if this is HD because my little player over here is playing it weird, but why should that matter? Oh yeah, okay, I can get it to, to 1080, okay, cool. Um, and so for example, you know, even early on, I, I had figured out, uh, like let's take a think media, like super old school, you know, like really old school think media videos. Um, I could, I was doing stuff around uh, tech back, you know, I did how to build a PC video editing PC back in like 2010, you know? And so here's what I'm saying. How many subs do you need? It's less about the subs. You just want some proven traffic. If you got something going on, so eventually I, I, I realized like, this is a good example. I mean, seven years ago, this is my old setup like a little Vixia camera, some old gear that I was using for my video production company. And then what you can see, look, I got a little link to my old Amazon store. Does this even work? Wow, that's great. I should, of course it doesn't, it's really old. Um, and so, but like it was, it was getting views. So the problem is when you sign up for an affiliate program, like they don't care how many subscribers you have, they might, but, but more importantly is like, are you gonna actually get some transactions? Cause they don't wanna keep you in uh, the program if you're not actually getting those sales and those transactions. Um, smash like if you are pumped, we're just hanging out. We're just doing a, a, a chill Q&A. We just did a 30 minute sniper training. Um, if you want a little insider thinking as to how I'm doing YouTube lives, the reason why I tried to end that at 30 minutes was for the replay value. Cause you know, if you if you watch some live stream, you're like, dude, it's an hour and 30 minutes. Like I don't, I don't what? I don't wanna go through that. But but then I also, the, why I just want to add this is so we could hang out and vibe. But if this, like in me stumbling over my words and all this was part of that original training, it would just kind of bloat it. So if any of you are doing YouTube live, just a thought about kind of, you know, making it really be brief, be bright, be fun and be done. And then, um, you know, hang out like this because, okay, Google ads worth it, Kyle? Nah, probably not. Paid advertising is like a bucket of gasoline. This goes back into your other question, but you wanna make sure you actually got a fire burning first. So if you've got a fire burning, you're growing, you've got subscribers, people care. Paid ads probably just means it's gonna help you accelerate more and more people will care. But here's the problem. Great marketing will only make a, brat, a bad product fail faster. Great marketing will only make a bad product fail faster. So if I give you a million bucks, you might say that'd be guaranteed success. No, it's not. There's been plenty of companies that have had big budgets. They've promoted products and the products have failed. The product has to be good. Once that's dialed though, Kyle, yes, absolutely paid ads could help you grow. Can you get paid with affiliate marketing under 18, Colton? Um, if your parents sign up for it, but probably not for legally for most programs if you're not an adult. What are some ways to make money to get a computer to edit videos. So if that's where you're at, uh, randomize, number one, use your smartphone to create content because you could probably shoot videos on your smartphone, edit videos on your smartphone with apps, upload those to YouTube. But number two, go make the money somewhere somewhere else. There's This is what I would encourage you with. YouTube is an amazing place to build significant income. It's a great place. I'm sure a lot of you, you know, part of our mission here at Think Media is to help 10,000 people create a full-time income doing what they love and making a difference with online video. 10,000 people. We want to see 10,000 people be able to say, yes, I live off of online income. Let me know if you'd want to be one of those pe people. Tell me in the comments in the live chat. Um, and so I think that uh, YouTube's a great place for that. 
But I would say YouTube is not a great place for that if you need to pay your rent in three weeks, right? Because it, it, it doesn't, YouTube's a marathon and not a sprint. It could change your whole life and your future if you're smart for one to three years and steady and strategic. That's how long it takes. And more towards the three-year line. Like someone asked me how fast could you expect to grow? A lot of times I would actually think this. Year one, it might take you a year to get to 1,000 subscribers and figure out your craft. Year two, you could get to 10,000 subscribers. Year three, you could get to 100,000 subscribers, especially if you follow our stuff. Because it took me 10 years to do some of those things. I believe it could take you 75% less time. But this is all to answer the question of what are some ways to make a money, make, make money so you could buy a computer to edit videos. Get a job. Go mow lawns. So here's, and here's what I did. The way I invested in products, in gear, in affiliate, like stuff that I turned into affiliate marketing was I made money through freelance video production. So for me, I actually took out a loan in 2010 prosper.com bought a dslr the canon 7d bought some gear and i wasn't just taking out a stupid loan on like a luxury vehicle i was taking out a loan on tools tools for my trade then i started to go shoot wedding videos and i'm getting checks then i'm shooting videos for small businesses i'm getting checks i'm reinvesting those checks back in my business back in myself so that's what i would say is figure out a way to do something that's going to pay you a lot more than youtube in the sh short term work at starbucks wait tables at red robin like i did do freelance video doesn't matter like do whatever you got to do to get money make as much money as you can and then in your off time in your side time in your hobby time build your online income on the side buy whatever gear you need and keep reinvesting in yourself and in your business so you can go further faster um my man techno dad i know when I, mean, I got the just five o'clock shadow going on. What do you think about that? I didn't get to that shave today. How did you learn about this subject? When should we start? Nasly, good question. For me, it's kind of a, the, a, a long story short. I started a video in 2003 at my local church. So I was shooting videos and editing them for our youth group before YouTube started. And I did 52 videos in 2003. Wow, that's a lot of videos, Sean. Well, they're weekly video announcements for my youth group. 2004, YouTube hasn't started yet. The lead pastor at that church is like, can you make videos on the weekends now too? They're not too bad anymore. And they were still bad, trust me. So now I did 104 videos a year before YouTube started. Huge advantage because here is one of the th muscles you have to build. Just like if you ever want to do something athletic, which clearly I don't do, <laughs> but I could imagine what it would take to do that. Uh, just like it, what it takes to do something athletic, you got to work out your muscles to develop the strength. To do YouTube, you got to work out your muscles of video editing, your muscles of shooting videos and being on camera, your muscles of preparing videos. And it'll feel slow and discouraging at first, but you'll get faster. You know, lifting a 25-pound dumbbell at first and still is, is somewhat hard for me, you know. But eventually, I'll be at that 35. Eventually, I'll be at that 50 pound. You know, eventually, I'll be at that 100 pound. You know what I'm saying? 100 pound dumbbell. Like, why? Because you grow, like, it levels up. So that's what I would encourage you with is, is uh, oh, so that's how I got started. Then in 2010, we hit the hardest season of our lives. In answer to your question of how I got into this, 2009, actually, my wife got really sick. We were dual income. I talked about working jobs to make money. We were supporting our dream of doing this stuff. By just working day jobs, Starbucks, Anthony's home port waiting tables in Seattle. She's working at, she's nannying. I'm working at the church part time for barely any money. I'm waiting tables at Red Robin. I started my business, Clear Vision Media. Boom. My wife gets sick. Housing crisis hits America. We lose the house we're living in plus a rental property we had. Uh, the church I was working out, some of the leaders steal some money. Things go crazy. It starts falling apart. So I'm no longer, you know, make, it wasn't even really producing much income, but I'm also like super distraught and discouraged because you, you think you could trust people and things like that. So that all hits in, the, in answer to your question. That's why I got a new fire. It was 2009. I got a new fire in my soul. I tell you what, I was like, shoot, man, what's our future hold? How am I going to provide for my family? How am I going to take care of my wife? How am I going to really like, you know, uh, potentially when we have kids, take care of them? How can I work from home? So I could build a business on my own terms. And I'm reading and studying about this stuff. I'm like, I just got to be a part of this. And I had no clue what I was doing. So I kind of went on a quest 
starting in 2009. And it took me until we're talking now to know as much as I do now. And now my passion, after we built a five figure and eventually six figure income just with affiliate marketing and YouTube, was I was like, man, we, we, we fulfilled all my dreams. I'm a small time kid. I came from a small town, Arlington, Washington. Nobody in media, nobody famous in my family, nobody um, that like, you know, taught us the ways of being media professionals, nobody in my family, right? And nobody in my family really like killing it in, in, in like an online way or whatever. But we built a six figure income. You can imagine the small time kid was like, what the, that's like the, it's a, incredible. You know, it, it is like, that is a huge achievement. So then from that point, something shifted in me that I was like, man, I got to help other people do this. Like this changed my life. And it's not that I, I believe and can promise that everybody can make six figures with YouTube and affiliate marketing, but I will tell you this, it's becoming so much more practical for people to make an extra $500 a month or for people to make an extra $5,000 a year, you know, to also get free products around doing what you love. Like that's just more practical in the world we're living in. And so it's not that everyone's going to absolutely crush it, but that's how I learned this stuff was by out of desperation and necessity and massive studying. I mean, my gosh, I've invested tens of thousands of dollars in courses, books, education, traveling, interviewing the experts, video influencers, all this stuff. So I, I, my passion is helping you. I geek out on this stuff and, and that's kind of where it all uh, came from. Kyle says they could pay for your fishing gear. And Kyle, that's such a great vision because I think about that. I think about Techno Dad, who's on the stream complimenting my five o'clock shadow here. He, he's getting home theater. He's got a home theater channel. He's getting home theater equipment, man. You got to check out his channel, Techno Dad on YouTube. He's getting home theater equipment. He's getting high-end speakers. He's making bank off affiliates. He's scaling his income up uh, in other ways, you know, biz devving with companies. When you build up a channel around your passion, fishing, homeschool, you know, Heather on our team does a homeschool channel. She gets, she, they don't pay, it covers their homeschool curriculum, which is like two grand a year, covers all their books, covers, covers all the money they spend d decorating their homeschool and, and, and getting the equipment or like the, the homeschool area of their house. Her YouTube channel pays for their homeschool stuff and beyond. This is why we're living in an era where you want to take your passion, hopefully in a specific niche. That's a key. You hear us talk about it a lot. Techno Dad, home entertainment. Heather Torres, uh, homeschool channel. Javen Postal, barbecue. Uh, Simply Sherry, DIY and home decor. You know, having a niche channel. Jennifer, the sewing report, a sewing channel, sewing machine. So, like a niche channel, man, I tell you what, gaming channels. Like if you do it, there's other ways to make money with, of course, Steam, but even around like uh, affiliate programs with games, like just a lot of opportunities. Um, and let's dive in. We're doing some Q&A. We're hanging out. We just did a 30-minute training. I turned it off, came back on so we could hang out because I don't want that uh, training, which is about 30 minutes, to be scary to people who want to watch the replay. I tell you what, man, when I watch live streams, and it says three hours. I'm like, yeah, right. You know, I wasn't there live. I'm not going back. I'll probably make this um, unlisted too, by the way. So if you're ever like, I want to rewatch that, ask us for the link, but it won't be public. Um, how about the supplemented fit fitness world? I know you did the greens powder. Dude, I mean, bro, it, it is so massive. I mean, a couple of affiliate programs, uh, ClickBank is a big one. That's the one that that green powder is on. This is a lot of like, Info products, but look at this. Here's another one. All you know, all in one shake, uh, green protein shake. Like this is an affiliate program on ClickBank, right? Um, the other one I would tell you is network marketing. A Howarda is because Beachbody, uh, you know, whatever the other ones are, health and fitness, Nerium, if that's skincare, simple, similar things like that. When it comes to like skincare, nutrition supplements, um, you know, things like that. There's massive opportunities for um, not just affiliate pro programs, but very lucrative ones. So Q&A, what is up? I'm with you, Sean. If I see it for two hours, I might start, but we'll most likely skip. Thanks, Denise. And that's why that one's sitting there. I, th I think I'll probably do this this way in the future. Maybe take Q&A, come back on to hang out, vibe and do Q&A. Um, but to make the training like more clear. Ooh, we got the super chat. D Zanjin, thank you so much. Uh, I hadn't even thought about that. I always forget super chat exists. So if you definitely want to get a chan uh, channel um, 
if you want to get a question answered or a channel review. Hey, look, Sean's about to use channel reviews. Uh, throw up a super chat. We could do that. How do you pick one thing to do on a channel? I love making a channel about music, um, but my music's so opinionated. Not sure it was grow. We will grow. Yeah, that's the thing. It's not a guarantee that just because you like it, other people we will. I think what you can do is here's the here's the best answer. You want to build your channel in a niche that already exists. That's a million dollar answer right there. I mean, it's maybe like, well, look at Sean, pretty pretend. Well, maybe it's not worth a million dollars, but it's a pretty valuable answer because you want to build your tribe, your plant your flag in a niche that already exists. So there's a book called Tribes. I highly recommend it by Seth Godin. Okay. And in the tribe, uh, in this book, is very essential read. I recommend the audiobook. I listened to it recently off Audible. And so it's called Tribes. But one of the things he says that is a huge misnomer is you don't create a tribe, you rise up within a tribe and you start leading in that tribe. Now you can create a tribe, but it's much harder. Now to use a religious example, let's take Christianity for example. Just follow me. So Jesus Christ created a tribe, a movement for sure. 2.2 billion people on planet earth say they're Christians. He started a whole new group of people, right? Like a whole new tribe, a whole movement, people who have similar faith can resonate. Like when you connect, and this is true about any faith, when you find out somebody else has the same faith as you, you're like, what up, bro? You know, hey, like you're part of the fam. That's a tribe. Tribes are like Tesla owners are a tribe. Elon Musk created a tribe. He created this. So like, but that's much harder to do. Here's actually what is easier to do. I was doing coaching with somebody who created an electric vehicle YouTube channel, right? It's all about everything electric vehicles, not just Tesla, but other brands. Here's what happens. When you just rise up and create content in a tribe that already exists, homeschool moms, gaming around classic games, um, Perlar beads, you know, which is something, uh, somebody that's part of our community was a part of, like obviously Comic-Con, cosplay, these are massive moves. The Walking Dead. I mean, if you've ever studied it out, there was like a podcast and a conference and a blog and a movement. Let me see the Walking Dead event. They didn't even create the tribe. It's called Walker Stalker Con. For fans, buy fans. Okay. Buy tickets. They're monetizing the brand, right? And they're having the guests come in and all this kind of stuff. They did not, creating The Walking Dead is harder, not that this is easy, but it's harder than starting Walker Stalker Con and just planting your flag in a pre-existing tribe. I, I think, I hope I'm helping somebody because I want you here in Think Media to grab a hold of this. Yes, you could create a tribe or you could try to create a channel to rally people around something, but this is why when you just rise up within something that already exists, it's like, do, do people already love snowboarding? Yeah. So I've always seen the opportunity for people to create um, like a, a channel. Imagine this, because I love snowboarding. It's like my side dream where I just now, we're so busy with Think Media and everything. We're full-time. All I do, I'm not even a great snowboarder. I'm a decent snowboarder. But what I want to do is just go from resort to resort to resort and I want to review them. So it's not even a vlog channel. It's a review channel of like tips, how to's and hacks of snowboarding resorts. Okay. It's good content. Let's it would be good. And so then it's helpful to people. So then what's going to happen? We'll forecast a year later. Now I'm going to get resorts are going to want to give me free lift tickets. They're probably going to want to get me free swag. They're probably going to want me to fly out because if I built an audience that cares about that information around snowboarding. It's just being in a vertical, a tribe that is already passionate about a certain thing and you just become one of the go-to people for just information. What you're doing is you're just rallying fans. You're a fan already and what you're gonna do is gather other friends. It was your idea to create Walker Stalker Con but you didn't create the tribe. Rants today, going on some rants. Uh, okay. Unbox Warehouse, how do I get to your channel? How do you use the internet? I'm gonna do a kind of like a channel review or something here. Uh, Unbox Warehouse, I'll type it in. Okay, 
let me rapid fire some of these things. Let me hit these in order. I'm going to hit Scott's. Would love for you to do a channel review. I've been going for nine days. I'm not a technical person. Okay, cool. Scott Holzman, I'll hit these in order. Uh, bro, I need, can you post a link to your channel? How do I actually get to your channel, man? How do I, Scott Holzman, uh, can you tweet me a link to your channel? That's how we're going to do it. My name is Pandora Jewelry, limited affiliate opportunity. Jared and Galleria denied my applications. Okay, so I'll come back to that channel review um, and make sure you get it to me. Uh, try to tweet me it. So, you know, Pandora Jewelry. Um, what I would say, my Pandora Charm Life, is you got to build your influence first. If they denied you, it's probably you probably got to work on your branding, work on your traffic, get your traffic up, and um, and then eventually get approved. Here's a question. So the question is, A, do they have an affiliate program? So you can look down here. The way I like to look is I just would go like Pandora Affiliate Program. And again, you said you already got denied, but I would just, I wouldn't give up on the dream. I would level up. So here's the affiliate program information. You can get 4% commissions. Bloggers will receive 9%, all content sites. So, you know, maybe you should start a blog. That's the other hack. A lot of times affiliate programs approve blogs before they approve YouTube channels. Well, Sean, it's going to be a lot of work. Put in the work. Build out a good blog. Build out a great blog with photography that matches their photography. Like, well, Sean, that might take longer than I thought. Do the work. Put the work in. Like, keep studying. Keep learning. Uh, I definitely recommend that. Um, let me hit up Unbox Warehouse and see if I can get that tweet to the channel. Um, I think I still miss Scott, so Scott hit me up. I want to make sure I hit these. They're coming in too fast. Um, let's hit Unbox Warehouse real quick on the channel review. And trust me, I'll get to your channel review. I want to make sure you did it. Okay, Unbox Warehouse. Question is, what is the question? The question is, can you look at and see why I'm not converting affiliate sales? Okay, so first thing that I would think that you want to do, let me turn my headphones off because I'm going to listen to some of your audio, um, is you should be... You wanna think about intent. That's the first thing I wanna say, is when someone looks for something, what is their intent? And, you know, for example, so I think about this, it's just a little bit different. The $5 battery that will save you from identity theft, I'm not looking for that. I, I, meaning, it would be probably more opportunity, more opportunity to like sell this. Because if I am looking for the unbox video, I would look for here, next tip, uh, I would definitely put your affiliate link in the first three lines of your text because I had to expand the page to see that so that I would give them an opportunity to click right there. Next thing too is I would shorten all your Amazon affiliate links for sure. Easy to do. So here's, if I want to link to tribes, I'm going to go to text up here. It's going to give me my short link, my text link created to my affiliate tracking code right there. It was that quick. Boom, I'm on the page I want, short link, much cleaner. So I'll do that. Um, and so the biggest thing I could tell you that I'm seeing here is that your channel, I get it, it's kind of more like entertaining or it's, it's heavily entertaining based, meaning like I could continue to watch kind of like unbox therapy, but it, here's, and here's the good thing about that. The good thing about that is you could build fans that are like, man, even if I buy it or not, I love your content, but here's why affiliate marketing is worked so good for me is it's been search-based and not necessarily audience-based. So think about the intent, right, of this. So someone's like, okay, what is the best camera for YouTube? Like, I don't know. I don't know Sean. I don't know anything. I'm just curious, what's the best camera for YouTube? Okay, well, then they watch the video and I add a lot of value. I train around it. And then the logical step is like, I, I'm just like, and hey, in the camera I was using this video that produced this quality is a Canon M50. It does this, like it, produces photos like this and this is how you take them etc whatever and then um i would link to it now i also i don't have the affiliate link in the top three lines this is also though a, a whole equipment list so in this video i probably do so there you go it goes to a bitly best cam 17 and that link is a kit.com which is a place where you can embed your video and then link to all the different links 
that are on Amazon. And this is kit.com. You can sign up for free, kit.com. You can then click these links, but in the back end, you can actually upload your code for multiple different countries. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, that can be kind of cool. Now, I'm going to try to just trust you guys on the channel reviews. Maybe stop the super chats for now. Thank you. Sorry. Um, and hit me on Twitter if I have your channel to review. So Unbox Warehouse, there's a couple helps. Get that link in the uh, top three lines of text. Think about it being search-based better than like, not, not, it's not that it's better or worse. It's just would why it leads to conversions. Whole customer journey from pain point and question, helping them all the way along to just find the solution that they want the intent of the very video title itself and how people are finding it. When people are looking for the best greens powder and they see someone who's tried it, who's tested multiple other things and whatever, then the next logical thing is to potentially get it. I would tell you this, I subscribe to Unbox Therapy and I actually don't even think about it in terms of affiliate marketing at all. I think about it in terms of like wild products, wacky products, well, it's always so entertaining, the smallest cell phone, the craziest cell phone, less stuff that I'm gonna buy. But what I'll tell you, when I'm looking for what are the, this is a good example, best personal development books? Um, I'm about to buy some books. So I sell books every day because this video is ranked in search for books. Yeah. And one of our members uh, of uh, Video Ranking Academy are kind of advanced training. Check this out. Best Christian books. It's his niche, you know. And two years ago, uh, Justin dropped his video affiliate links, sure enough. And you can think about the intent of what someone's looking. They might want to pick some of those up. Boom. There you go. Um, hope that helps. Okay. William. Uh, yeah, my man. If you super chatted me, tweet me, but only if you super chatted me, we're going to make sure we get the channel reviews. Okay. Creative inspiration daily. So love this because it's clear um, that it's about inspiration. It's also clear how often you're posting. Every weekend, 7 a.m. I'm a little confused though because is it daily? What's every week? Oh, every weekday. Sorry, I read it wrong. Every weekday, 7 a.m. Great. Video audio, awesome. Very clear. Love it. Linking to Medium. Is that the most important thing for you to link to? If so, yes. Cool. If not, change that up. Always use this link as an opportunity. You know what I mean? Like... I think that on Thick Media right now, not that it's good or bad, but on Thick Media right now, want to grow on YouTube. See what I mean? Like, that's a good opp like that's an opportunity. It's not just like medium. Like, I bet half your audience says you know what that is, to be honest. Like, most people don't know it's a blogging platform. So it could be like an actual result. A little tip for you. Um, okay. Um, channel trailer, I don't even have one, so like take my own advice, but channel trailer right here, what to do when you lose control, I would love to actually be, be being pitched, who you are, why I should subscribe, what I can expect, that'd be kind of cool, so that might be a good first impressions video, but also like it's not hooking me, like what to do when you lose control, I'm like what, and then I'm looking at it like uh, it long start, no person on camera first. I love the art of this video, but it's just not necessarily a first. I mean, I'm, I'm eight seconds. Here's the thing. It's the goldfish rule. You've got seven seconds to hook your viewer's attention. So I'm loving the cover. I'm loving this. But I want to hear from you right away. What is, again, what's in it for me? Man, this will help you think media. Run your channel through this filter. Does your channel seem to be about what's in it for you? My daily thoughts my daily videos, our daily family. And I'm not even saying, William, this is your stuff. I'm saying Think Media, you know, come hear what I like. Come hear about me, come, me, me, me. What's that from? Me, okay, Sean on the live stream. So, but you know, you gotta flip it, you. If you don't have you statements in your about page, in your videos, in your thinking, so, Thoughts through the platform of YouTube Medium and Anchor Podcast, I aim to provide you, there it is, with a daily dose of creative inspiration. I would make that all caps. Even if nobody even reads it, 
I just want you to be so big in your mind and heart that you want to win on YouTube, make your channel about your target audience. If your target audience loves your content and they are getting value, now they might be getting value through your point of view, through your perspective. Obviously, you might be at the center of the content, but people are asking this question when they land on your channel, what is in it for me? So William, to take that channel trailer to another level, you also might say, like, do you ever run into creator's block? Do you ever just like feel unmotivated when it comes to putting out creative work? If so, then I've got you covered. You wanna speak right to the heart of your target audience. Now, where I think a good channel trailer is, is video influencers channel trailer. So if you've never, if you wanna watch a good template, you don't even have to make it as fancy. Excuse me, watch the video influencers channel trailer and just follow it as a structure. Insert your questions, insert what your channel is about, introduce yourself, that could add some value. All right, what else we got? So now we're in William's channel. Um, what is the reward for your, I love the thumbnails. I really do. I love the simplicity there. I actually like, I like them better lately when they're a little bit smaller text, when like that no small creator is invisible. I only know that because I read it elsewhere and I've been following the whole Vid Summit collab thing. So I love them now. Like this one's getting stronger. It's really cool. Good thumbnails. Good value-based, uh, I think, titles. I would say this, you know, what I can sense here, and let me just click something on here. Four minutes. Great job on putting out so much content. Good communicator. Love love the idea, kind of the cool ending, keep it going. Here's what I sense, William, is you're doing some super great content. You're checking the boxes. Of course, there's always stuff to work on. But I mean, like, I like your thumbnails. I like the vision of your channel. I like what you're doing. I like what you're putting out. I like that you disagree with Casey here. That's a smart move. To think media, take note. Uh, Casey and I said, I disagree. Join conversations, especially when you're trying to grow. Never forget of also about, you know, I talk about affiliate marketing. Casey Neistat camera gear. Couple things. This this speaks about being like a head. Like, see, I was following Casey Neistat before he vlogged. And I was watching every day. And the day after he revealed his original vlog setup that now every human, uh, every kid at VidCon has, like with the bendy gorilla pod. The day he revealed this, back in 2015, the next day I had a video done. And here's the thing. I was thinking about how do I do this in not a, like a weird way, not in just an opportunistic way. I saw a lot of opportunities. He didn't reveal what lens he had, didn't give the model number, so I had to zoom in to figure it out and like study out the lens. He didn't reveal what Gorillapod he was using, so uh, I, I looked that up. He didn't reveal the specs and the details about things, so I honored him in the video, listed it out, but man, I crushed it on affiliate marketing. I mean, you can imagine, I mean, look at the views, right? And this is people, everybody wanted to buy Casey's setup, so it was an opportunity, so there's some insight a, a, William, you're doing that well. And the, the my conclusion for you, William, is that um, if you keep doing what you're doing, you're you're get building momentum on subscribers, you're a cool dude, people are gonna resonate with you. I feel like, just to encourage you, that that idea of a thousand, one year to a thousand subscribers, next year to a 10,000, next year to a 100,000, might just kind of be the path of what you're hustling on. Because I, I feel it. I think now it's just about like really putting in the work, but as you are, small tweaks lead to giant peaks. And always keep this in mind too, you're one breakout video away from your whole life changing. So the discipline of how, how much you're, you're doing this, looking for fresh opportunities, one video could change everything, but then you've got a foundation that you're building on with excellence. Really great work, William, love what you're doing. Um, and, uh, the way I'm getting my actual channels to review is I'm assuming you super chatted and then you sent me the link on Twitter because I can't really quick th click through over here for some reason. And so now I'm trying to go back. I don't know who's next. I will get to you. We're done with the channel reviews. Everybody that paid not <laughs> is good, but just no more just because I don't know how long it's going to take us to get through these. I'm hitting Jamie next. Tweet me. And, let, and say, I, I did the super chat and I'm going to find the next link in the uh, Twitters. So, Jamie, 
Okay, first thing, just first impressions, man. 11 seconds before you even say what is up in this video. It was the first video I saw. Cover image, I see it's you. Good channel though of me having no clue what this channel is about. I just saw Jamie Wagner Gaming, which is actually a different channel. Um, and so that confused me. And so keep that in mind, seven second rule. If, if you don't make sense, and it, when I land on the channel, I'm saying what's in it for me. Right now, it just looks like a personal diary. It's Jamie's channel. So then I'm letting the video play. Okay, you're giving away a gift card. I still don't even know what that means. I do want a $250 gift card. I have no clue what's happening. So I need a value proposition on the cover, like helping you do this, daily da da da, like whatever it's gonna say. So then I come over here. Now, I would encourage you, because I'm being kind of hardcore on you, but that's what you're here for, is if you don't, there's two paths I believe to success on, on YouTube. There's, there's one of two starting points. Here's the starting points. A, you have no idea what you wanna do on YouTube. You say, Sean, I don't know what my niche is. Tell me if that's you in the live chat. You don't know what your niche is. You don't have clarity on it. The other uh, opportunity is you do have clarity on it. You're like, yeah, man, I've been doing fitness for 10 years. I'm just gonna take fitness and put it online. I've been doing real estate for 10 years. So if, Jamie, you're not sure, because I do see kind of like, I mean, 10 acres of antique classic tractors and a rainy Friday and a review of a 4K webcam is not making me understand what your channel is about, okay? But what I love that you're doing is you're pumping out content. And if you, if you track my journey, it's not like I had clarity uh, my whole life. In fact, for years, I just wandered. Now, what's cool is you can do a lot of profitable content in the process and and learn and do some experiments, like my whole gift idea series that we just trained about is some good ideas. But this, I, your channel reminds me of my channel right here. It's just like kind of like different stuff, like kind of random stuff. And so what I would encourage you to do, Jamie, is if you don't have clarity about what your niche is, like maybe you don't know, like my channel is about this. This is what I'm putting on my cover. Is though keep posting videos, but try to get closer to that clarity. Like maybe it's wide in general and you're doing random videos and that's fine. Keep posting videos, but get narrow it down, narrow it down over time. So like over the years, I was vlogging and I learned a lot. I was doing some cooking videos and I learned a lot. Eventually, I started making gift ideas videos, just uploading when I could. We started making money with affiliate marketing. This was like the Sean Thinks. And that's what's funny is it was my Sean Thinks channel was inseparable from the clarity I've had for video influencers and think media but I actually probably would have never got to that clarity had I not done all these, these videos. So I just wanna encourage you, I think you know if you try and reach everybody or if it's just not clear what your channel is about, I'm gonna be out. Like I don't know why I should subscribe. Then the other thing I'd say is I don't think you should link to your gaming channel here. I think you should, you can, but it doesn't look like it's that, well actually it is pretty consistent, I mean an hour ago. So you know, I don't know, I think, I think a lot of Clarity, and here's what I'd say, Jamie. If you haven't watched, uh, it's actually different. It's called Tube Masterclass Live. T U B E Masterclass Live. That's our training, not about ranking videos and getting views. It's our training about getting clarity. Tube Masterclass Live. Check that one out because I just think it'll be a lot of uh, really helpful. But um, here's what I want to say, probably final to encourage you though, is like, hey, how'd you get thirty six thousand subscribers? That's one question. And I don't know where those came from. Okay, so now I'm seeing that in the past, you've got some killer tech videos. So maybe there's more tech and some things. Maybe come back to that and give me some clarity about what that's about because the channel authority and some of the things you're building on is massive. Redo your strategy here and fill out your about page. Here's homework for everybody in Think Media. Fill out your about page. So I'll actually, now I like this. Like I wish I could see all this stuff, man because I barely made it here. How-to videos, tablets, smartphones, Android, like I get that, but I don't see that up here. You know, one thing I did on Sean Cannell later was I tried to use images to, even though I don't think this channel is a good focus channel, I at least was like, okay, product reviews, life hacks, video blogs. Wife, that's kind of video blogs. Green juice, kind of life hacks and my lifestyle. Me, because I'm Sean Cannell, products. I tried to put some visuals to what the promise of the channel was, because this channel is like random product reviews and life hacks and video blogs. That's what it, that's what it is. Um, and so, uh, but then also like 
think about a statement. I want everybody watching this to say, helping you do what? Helping you find the best products and avoid the ones you hate, tablets, smartphones. You know, your guide in the confusing consumer electronics landscape. Why? There's a couple of reasons. Now, it's not just for your audience, it's also for you. Because when you get crystal clear on where you're going and where you're taking people, you're gonna actually grow faster. Because how can anybody follow you if you don't know where you're going with clarity, right? Like crystal clear clarity. Hope that helps, Jamie. All right, where are we at? Uh, I did super chat. Jessica, you're the bomb.com. Thanks. Let's check it out. Okay. Jessica's channel. Same issues, Jessica, right? Like I see this is about you, but if anything in a busy world, okay. This is Jessica's channel. Why should, what do you do? What, what, why does it matter to me? But let's go a little deeper. So put that on the cover. I post Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. That could go on the cover. New videos every Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. Business inquiries about what? So you're a 16-year-old YouTuber. I make fashion and lifestyle videos. So a couple things. One, I need that on the cover. I need to, and and, and like, sometimes you might be like, does it have to be literal? It might not even have to be literal. But I need some strong photography to show me what you're doing. Picture speaks a thousand words. But how do I know you do fashion and lifestyle by just landing on your channel? Next question is, different is better than better. So there's a few small things you can do to give yourself clarity in the world and make your channel more powerful. But a lot of people do fashion and lifestyle. So how can you be a little bit different? How can you, how can, I mean, maybe maximize your age, like fashion and lifestyle videos for high schoolers because you're 16. So you're not saying like, I'm gonna coach the world on fashion and lifestyle. You're like, yo, let's crush these high school years, hypothetically. How can you stand out and be different in the world? Or when it comes to fashion, you know how people really crush it? I think about my friend Lynette Sine. She's kind of like, like, what do you even call it? Like a gypsy? (laughs) Like she's like a Boravian, Bohemian, right? So she's like hippie, hippie stuff, right? So like this is the vibe. Like this is Mr. Corey and Lynette, like great people. So what's the point? Her vibe is different than like modern chic clothing, right? Which is also different than like gowns and whatever. That's what different is better than better. So fashion and lifestyle general, if you you niche down and you're all hype beast, supreme, you know, whatever, you're going to have a tribe you can join in that type of fashion arena, which, uh, you know, and then if you were to also say like thrifting, whole thrifting channels, makes sense? So those are like some ideas. It's obvious, it's up to you and you got to like figure out your own lane, but even within fashion and lifestyle, how could you stand out? All right, let's dive in here a little bit. Back to school hall. Cool. Good stuff. Uh, let me see. I'm going to pop in a headphones so I just can catch this okay you know what we're gonna do in the future I'm gonna figure out how to play audio we're gonna do video reviews would you like to see that so like where we actually you could hear the video and then I could coach through it unfortunately you can't hear it so I won't spend too much time is this an affiliate link I love that if it is yeah is that this is your merch spill the tea way to go Jessica with the merch Seriously, come on, Think Media. Jessica with the merch. Too many of you guys are making excuses for why you don't have a buy button on your site yet or your merch created. Jessica's 16. She's running circles around you guys. Go, Jessica. Moment. Moment for Jessica. Okay. So that's killer. Um, and then the thing I would say, Jessica, is A, you're still killing it, though. You got 500 subs. You've got, here's some Think Media growth. Let's see, you know. You've got 42,000 views in the last minutes. Sometimes there's no way. Is that true? Let's check out your stats over here. Um, okay, that's probably more realistic. So it's, it's thinking about something weird. But here's, here's the point, Jessica. You've got views. People are paying attention. Small tweaks lead to giant peaks. I've given you some stuff to work on from a strategy clarity standpoint. I would also say to masterclass.live, 
Just because clarity and positioning is like everything. Like where you position yourself in the market because, but here's the encouraging thing. You're already making videos. You're already talking confident on camera. You're already, uh, you know, smart making your own merch. So keep hustling. Shoot, girl. If I was 16 and had this kind of outputs, I would be so pumped because I'd be like roaring towards my 20s, ready to just take over the world. That's what I think can happen because I can see kind of the ingredients you have to build with. Just keep building. Go, Jessica. All right. If you tell me on Twitter that um, you need a channel review, I need to know that you did super chat. So tweet me again if you didn't tell me that. Scott's next. And we're talking about Scott's channel. Great example for our theme of the day. Scott, what is your channel about? I have no idea. Okay, so a couple things, right? Monday, Bloody Monday, I don't know what that means. Freestyle on Friday, I'm not sure what that is, right? Crypto after dark makes me think about cryptocurrency. Okay, so Bitcoin, so now I'm kind of like, but do you see how like I had to do some mental gymnastics to get even clarity there? You gotta make stuff easy for people. Come on, Think Media. This is not just talking to you, Scott. You gotta just say what it is. Like vegan recipes for busy moms. Yes. Then I land there. I'm like, I'm not a busy mom, nor am I vegan, although I do like a lot of vegan food. So so I'm out. Or I am. I'm saying because I, I need something to cook tonight and let's be lean and mean about it. What is your channel about? So cover image, hook, hook that up with me. A little talk on your avatar. Scott, I like I like your, your, uh, your picture here because it is a headshot, but it's busy. It's hard to see. Think media, action item, work on your headshots. If you got a, a iPhone or somebody's got an iPhone that has portrait mode, hook it up. Go outside. Take a shower that day. Get ready. Take a picture in good lighting. Take 32 pictures so one actually turns out good. There's something about a headshot, man. Like, you got to own your brand. This is kind of a little distraction that I'm going to go on, as I would on streams like this. But you got to have a distraction, man. What's your first impression online? Are you approachable? Are you happy? Here's the other thing. I'm not saying you have to be happy. Maybe you're hardcore. Maybe you never smile. Be you. Be you times two, but own it. I need to see you. It's a headshot. It's your avatar. It's just right here. I don't want a busy background. I want a punchy image. You know, if you think about something like LinkedIn, which I do think all of you should be using if you want to be a professional, it's the professional network. What kind of impression are you making? What's your impression? What is coming across in that image? So, in fact, while we're over here, let's look. I'm not trying to put anybody down, and I hope these people don't watch it, but Steve Jones, that image is not popping, man. It's super dingy. You're off there in the corner. Your head's cut off in the circle. That's a horrible picture. Sorry, bro. Bobby, great job. Little bit better, but the brick wall behind there, it's blocking you. Sorry, this stuff's public, guys. Sorry. Cameron, pretty, pretty solid. A little bit black body taking up most of the image, and your head is just in the upper right like little section of it. Okay, I like this one. Nice blue background and good solid headshot. That's all I'm talking about. Maybe you include a little bit of your vibe. I like this one from Naftali. Strong. I like Reina's here. Do you see what I'm saying? Just a strong, like, and, and when I think about LinkedIn, go Pastor Jeremy Evans. Great headshot. Look, he just took it in his car, but it fills the circle. Perfect. And I'm sure that's a selfie. Then we got Scott over here killing it with like the the colorful background. Now you start getting a little more creative add your vibe in there. Think media, level up your avatar. And if you've been commenting in videos and your avatar is still just like a, a purple cutout person or just a letter, then it's time to level up your avatar, man. Own your image online, own your brand, own your persona and roll onto the internet like you would roll into a networking cocktail birthday party. Like what up? I got dressed this day, you know, and maybe, maybe your vibe is like, you would roll into a cocktail party, like disheveled hair, then, then be you, but give me a good photo of that. Give me a high quality photo of, of you just rolling out of bed. But, but most of us would roll into a party. That's like a professional party. We would like be intentional about how we present ourselves. You want to do the same thing online. This is a kind of a long rant about about just the first impressions, right, of landing on your channel. So, Scott, you could level up that that whole first impression, the cover image. Let's hit your about page. 
no about page. So there's an opportunity. Definitely, you know, fill that out. So a couple other things to maximize. Fill out your about page. Hook up your social media links. Don't overdo your social media links. Like these are actually probably overdone. I don't need Google Plus. I don't post on there. This is my Sean Cannell channel. I don't use Snapchat anymore. So whatever, forget that. So that's not updated. Think Media should be updated. By the way, again, I just, it's like, yo, it's just Sean, man. Here I am. Just an avatar image. You got the Think Media one that's extremely pixelated for some reason right now. Or a brand name, by the way, a strong, clear, easy to read brand name like Video Influencers, because Benji and I are not trying to pack our heads into the image, whatever. And so there's other options, but really think about the impression that it's making. So here it's like, look, I'm active on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and this is my website, seancannell.com, right? And so, and then there's a call to action right here that actually leads to, this is the training I'm, I was telling you about, specifically about clarity, clarity and figuring out your niche and your positioning different than another one. So that's actually the one that's linked up right now. It's a one hour training. Um, if you go to a YouTube cover, you can click on that, but back to Scott's channel. So Scott, I would definitely think about some of those things. And then to be honest, I mean, a, it's cool that you've been pumping out some videos. I see that. I see that you look like you have a USB mic. And so I can, uh, I can hear your audio here. That sounds good. Helping you keep your brain on the blockchain, bro. I love that, man. It's amazing, by the way. I'm looking at the wrong thing. So there you are. So helping keep your brain on the blockchain. You got a tagline. Uh, you got people watching this. You got five likes. This is cool. So I think you got to brand your channel out. It seems cryptocurrency is the thing, but I couldn't figure that out. And then I think thumbnails could could go could do some things. But you've already again come over some major hurdles, Scott. And those are the channels made. The subscribers are here. You've got videos up. Now tweak it. Now get your branding right, your clarity right, your messaging right. Like Scott Holtzman, keeping your brain on the blockchain. Let's go, man. It's rad. Like, But think about, and then think about that first impression you want to make to build out a brand. Again, if it's cryptocurrency and investing, I think I, I would really think clean aesthetic. I would want I would want my YouTube channel to look like Coinbase. You know what I mean? Like to just look professional, look like an app. Those are some things. Um, that I would uh, do. Okay. You guys having fun? Looking for the next responsibility here. Uh, I super chatted. Please review. Mike hit me with the the thing. Hawaiian real estate. Eric, if you send me just the link, I don't know if you did the super chat. Are we? Did we decide that there's no more? They're still coming in. All right. Well, hey, whatever. Kick the tires and light the fires. But uh, at some point, I got to stop. So uh, Jackie, now, this is a great channel to land on because I think there's a lot of things we can learn here, Think Media, about the clarity, right? So first name, last name, food reviews, vlogs, live streams. You know, the vlogs and live streams less stand out to me, but the food reviews, it makes perfect sense. Plus there's food. So great job. Food in the imaging, great avatar. So this one's kind of more of like a cartoon kind of vector image, but like got the burger in there. So that's super strong. We also have a channel trailer. Love the vibe. Food reviews. That looks delicious. Tim Hortons, man. Come on, Canada. Let's go. Okay, so pitching the value of your channel, telling me there's going to be vlogs, there's going to be food reviews. I like that. Um, here's an opportunity with your Patreon. Like, you could, a couple thoughts. One, if this is not working, you actually might want to pull it down. Because when I land on it and there's not necessarily anybody here that I can tear of, can, can tell of, so this is, it's just the thing, especially when it comes to food, Jackie, right? You think about it. Nobody wants to go to a restaurant where there's no line, but everybody wants to go to the restaurant where there's a huge line. So you definitely want to get some momentum. What I would maybe do is pull the Patreon down, put out, keep putting out videos, get more subscribers, and do a launch. Like, like build, make like a, a thing of it, get people involved, and then be like, come on, we want to take this to the next level. 
and, and also be something like I'm looking for 20 people that would really join with me to make this thing so I can bring you more regular content if you've gotten value. So this could be this could be true for a lot of people in the community here. If you're going for crowdfunding too soon, too soon, crowdfunding too soon, you got to you got to build a level of it's it's not necessarily always too soon. You know what I mean? Like like how soon's too soon? But there is a certain point in time where um you want to jump off. There's like a jump off point. And here's here's some required homework if you want to be a part of the Think Media tribe. But well, that was hardcore. Sean, what will you do if I don't do it? I will I'll track you down, man. You gotta read this. This is like this is like one of our foundational pieces of content for like our ethos here at Think Media. A thousand true fans. Okay. Famous article. It's been updated. Look it up later. Google it. A thousand true fans. What it breaks down is this though. That if you want to make uh, $100,000 a year, okay, that all you would need to do is have a 1,000 true fans. Now, that's not does not mean a 1,000 YouTube subscribers. This means a 1,000 true fans that would actually support you with their credit card, with their wallet. You've really added value. They really love your stuff, okay? So let's say you sell a $20 t-shirt for your food blog. You only ever do a 1,000 your food YouTube channel, and those $20 t-shirts, you have 10,000 subscribers, okay? So we're saying you're at 10,000 subscribers. You wanna sell a $20 t-shirt. You only do one print once a quarter, okay? You only do 1,000. And out of your 10,000 subscribers, 1,000 people buy your $20 t-shirt. It's $20,000, okay? And once a quarter, so only four times a year, you do one design, and you do, a, you do a print run of 1,000. So we're gonna do this four more times. It's gonna be $80,000, okay? So now, let's say through YouTube ads, affiliate marketing, brand deals, cool things that happened, some freelance projects or whatever else, you make another $20,000, probably pretty, in, in a whole year. And you do this full time. There's 100 grand. Read the article though. So 1,000 true fans. It's important because it's important for us I want to help you. I want to help 10,000 people create a full-time living doing what they love and making a difference with online video. That's our mission. So you can get there. So all that to say, it's a long cab, a long little rabbit trail. Tell me if you like the rabbit trails. I mean, are the rabbit trails helpful? Come on, Think Media. Like, I need, I need some feedback over here. Uh, and so, 1,000 true fans. That's with the Patreon front and center. I might be trying to do something else that adds more value. Maybe try to build your email list, maybe a free cookbook or something, a free digital download. We could talk about that another time. So far, loving the channel though. Um, loving the channel. Um, pretty, pretty pumped about the thumbnails. Couple thoughts about the thumbnails is um, less is more. Always keep in mind that your thumbnail is complementary to your. Uh, title. And so let's check out at least lately. And I'm not trying to say that we're like the end all be all of thumbnails, but this one came out today. There's one word on it, right? Controversy. But then look at the title, how creating controversy can grow your followers fast. Notice this, get discovered fast, right? How to get discovered on YouTube, six proven tips, right? Five, five smart YouTube strategies, Five smart YouTube strategies for growing to 100,000 subscribers. Starting from zero, question mark? How to start and grow your YouTube channel from zero, seven tips. Point is, I think too many people put too many words in their thumbnail, one. And another mistake is too many people put uh, uh, too many words in their thumbnail, one. Two, we don't even know what number two is. Too many words in the thumbnail is the point. So. Um, less words, bigger words, and then keep in mind that, again, your thumbnail is enticing, you wanna get people to click, but then your your title finishes the story. Your thumbnail creates the intrigue, but your uh, other thing finishes the story. Oh, man. Yes, spicy chips. These look good. These remind me of Shin Ramen. I wonder if my Shin Ramen video still ranks. Shin Ramen recipe. Can you imagine? Um Come on, somebody. Okay, page two. So many views it got, though. There it is. Extra special. 
Look at this thing. And guess what I got right here, guys? Affiliate marketing to boxes of Shin Ramen. 30 packs off of Amazon for 40 bucks. You got to know that your boy has been doing this for some time, man. 2012, I was in a kitchen a couple houses down, actually. We lived in a different house here in Vegas. I'm making Shin Ramen recipes on my little Elf Canon camera and, uh, and just out there hustling, trying to make this thing work. What are we talking about? We're talking about Jackie's channel. So Jackie, um, thumbnails, you know, a little bit. Love the, love the niche. I think people could really get pumped around it. I think that um, that the thumbnails could be a little clearer. Keep pumping out those good video ideas. Um, and then keep keep leveling up your, uh, uh, your video production quality. You know, so as I get into this, small tweaks lead to giant peaks. Uh, I mean, just, just think through everything. Think about the, the presentation, the experience, like the audio kind of echoey. You're pretty far away. This isn't even a deal breaker. You got to start with what you start with. My early videos, video production wise, same thing, maybe echoey rooms. But the important thing is, is that always try to make it 1% better. How can you level up your gear a little bit, level up your setting a little bit, level up your lighting a little bit. I mean, just a practical thing. This isn't even necessarily change because I just want the information of whether or not this yellow edition Red Bull is good or not, but you're backlit. So you're super dark here. You know what I mean? Like, and, and there's like stuff in the shot over here and whatnot. So just thinking about every aspect, not getting overwhelmed by all these little details, but thinking, how can I make my next video 1% better than my last video? I've been trying to do that for a decade. And I think that if you look at today's videos versus 10 years ago, they're way different, but that was a process. So just like small tweaks lead to giant peaks, keep crushing the food topics, look for trending food topics. We didn't even really touch on playlists on some of these other ch channels. Definitely uh, leverage playlists. Um, I got to keep going. No more super chats. Young hugs. This is the cutoff because we still got a long time to get through the rest of these. I don't even know how many there are because I'm not even looking over there. I'm looking over here. Uh, Hawaiian real estate. My man. Let's go. Eric West. So I like that it hits right off and I saw a little bit of text here. I like this. I would love to see a, de a declaration of, of what it is. Good job with the headshot, you know, as we discussed like earlier, that's cool. Hawaiian real estate, I'd love a call to action there and a link that works. So that could be like um, to something. Like what I need is how are you gonna help me? What are you even gonna do for me? You're a real estate agent. Well, are you? Is it just like your diary? Is it gonna help me with tips? Is it gonna so so declare that front and center? Let's hit the about page because maybe there's some language. So you're sharing your passion for the ultimate lifestyle in the world, the Hawaiian lifestyle, cruising the highways and byways and the VW bound, helping them buy in real estate, uh, uh, buy and sell real estate. I have a, a team of agents. Please call. Here's a big question. Good, good, Eric, as I sink into the darkness and as I blur due to the depth of field of this GH5. No more super chats because I think I have like five more channel reviews and I got to eat dinner and hang out with my wife. I get to. I get to do that. Um, who's your target audience? Big difference. Someone pursuing a home. It's kind of a different tactic. By the way, if we were coaching, I'd be talking to you about just like Facebook ads, Google ads, local search, maybe using Facebook uh, videos native, following my friend Steve Panette, Arizona real estate agent. But what I love about what you're doing here, because there's the other target audience, is a lifestyle channel because I love the fact that you're cruising the highways and byways, showing people around, and you're helping them buy real estate. I feel like I feel like knowing who you're talking to is important, but it could still produce the same results either way. Because what it reminds me about is like million dollar listing. A lot of people watch that not because they're about to ever buy a million dollar listing. They watch it for the entertainment value. So it seems to me that maybe that's already what you're doing, but I'm just kind of working through it in my mind. However, that would dictate what you're positioning. Because if, if like you're titling videos like Punuko Main House Final V2, 
that's like adds no value to the person who just wants to catch the lifestyle. So it's like a, so here's what you want to create, Think Media, for everybody. You want people to have a predictable interaction with you online. I've learned that over the years, people used to not have a predictable interaction online. I've also learned that I've had to discipline the per- personal interaction. I mean, I don't even know what my family thinks about my social media. You know what I mean? They're probably like, dude, I don't want to watch your Instagram stories. You're always talking about growth hacking YouTube channels and how to make money with affiliate marketing or how to get more views on YouTube. Dude, I'm trying to see your dogs, bro. And by the way, they're on there because lifestyle matters, but they need a predictable interaction. And our brand took off, my brand took off when I started just talking about the same thing over and over again. Differently, YouTube, video influencers, we just interviewed somebody, but you probably got it. You're like, dude, Sean, like the theme is like, I hope you build your influence with online video. Here's my point is like, if I subscribe to your YouTube channel, I'm like, dude, Eric, man, show me the lifestyle, man. Take me around. Like I, 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 I can't even afford a new house, bro. I probably, I'll live in an apartment my whole life, but I love your stuff. That's a particular target audience. If it's just a portfolio for your listings with drone shots, well, that's not going to grow any audience that might sell houses, but like I, what's this have to do with this? So this is cool because uh, we see some experience. But does that make sense? It seems like at this point, it's kind of all over the place. So I would I'd recommend as well. Like uh, maybe I should just say the training that it seems like a lot it would add a lot of value to masterclass.live because you really want to get crystal clear on your positioning. You really want to get crystal clear on your value proposition, your target audience, and you want to get crystal clear on on building it up so that people have a predictable interaction with you. And the final ninja strategy there is which predictable interaction, though, could lead to a massive YouTube channel and which predictable interaction might just lead to some business but would never grow an audience. Just creating a real estate portfolio will never grow an audience. Like doing a home listing, but then like vlogging, but then doing a couple home listings and like some different things won't grow an audience. But if you build your own show, you build your own million dollar listing Hawaii style, even if it's just vlogged and like you scale it up. And by the way, you might do this for 10 years. Right now it's like GoPro and it's sketchy and it's not even that crazy, but you just keep doing it. And then like, you know, two years later, you've got D-Rock following you around and it's like a show. It's like Daily V, if you've ever watched that by Gary Vaynerchuk. And so- I hope that helps. That's a couple of thoughts, Eric. Um, clearly, you're doing some cool stuff. I love the very the, the variations of what you have happening here. I think you just need some clear direction on the channel, and you could experience some massive, massive results. And to keep in mind, what's the point? This is another probably power principle for all of us is never also thinking that like YouTube is the only place that exists on the internet. Here's a big thought. A lot of people are like, I'm thinking about starting a vlog. I should start a separate YouTube channel. Well, not probably not. Number one, if your first YouTube channel is not crushing and like generating for you, but, but bro, sis, Instagram stories is your vlog. Whoops. (laughs) Phone drop and like weird hit the button to fade. Instagram stories is your vlog, man. Instagram is your photo album, your feed, right? Facebook is where if you're in business and you're not doing digital advertising and Facebook ads, what are you thinking? Like you're going to get crushed in the new economy if you don't master digital ads, digital advertising. But like, it's not like Facebook is a massive organic. People hate on Facebook because the organic reach is down. Well, that's not the place to build an organic following, right? So Business-wise, you can have your different shows and forms of content happening in different places. So I would love to do a YouTube vlog someday, and that might happen. But like, if you want to catch my vlog, follow me on Instagram and watch my stories every day, right? Because that's where I'm like, little breakfast, little call to action of when I'm going live, little bit of lifestyle. Like that's it's a it's the new world, so you don't always have to think in the old. Anyways, like. All that to say, and Scott, Evan, Eric, sorry, Eric, that's not, uh, that was just some general thoughts. I think you're sitting on some great stuff here and uh, I'm excited for it. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to figure out. So like key, I see this, but I don't see if he did super chat. So I don't know. I sent super chat. Michael did it. So I'm clicking this. Stop 
the super chats. If any more come in, you don't get a channel review. <laughs> Unless you just want to support the channel. In that case, much love, but uh, I will get through all of them. I hope you're getting value. Let me know, are you guys enjoying some of this content? Uh, are you having fun? Should I do more stuff like this? Let me know. Taking a little break here. Uh, Mahalos. Appreciate your thoughts, Eric. I'm glad they were helpful. I hope they were helpful. And uh, definitely the S. Cool. Glad. Good hanging out. More Super Chat is where you can connect your credit card to your YouTube account. And then you're able to like donate to your favorite creators. Here's a question for you. This is not a sale. I'm thinking about doing the 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 4.99 YouTube subscription thing. They have that now. You can subscribe to a YouTube channel. You get like special emojis. You get like special stuff. But then we could do special live streams. I might take these into something like that, where we do like just Q and A and live streams. But um, that's just. I'm just theorizing it. We don't really even have the bandwidth for a while right now. It's pretty busy for the next couple months. But over time, like I would love to add more stuff. Youth Man, home theater, audio, and video reviews. I'm not even on the YouTube channel, but I love the clarity. So so this, you know, run your channel, Think Media, through this audit. Uh, okay. And that is, you know, is your channel make sense in seven seconds? Home theater, audio, and video reviews. Makes sense to me. I think that the word website could be a lot more sexy. Nobody wants to go to a website. What do people want to do? I don't know. They want uh, bonus content. I mean, that would be better. Like bonus content. And that's not even that good. You know what I'm saying? But I really think that call to action right there to like something. You know, grow your YouTube channel is like what I would say. All right. Um, okay. So I think you have an opportunity to do a channel trailer as do I again, preaching to myself here. I think media needs a channel trailer. I've procrastinated it cause I'm overthinking it. I need to take some of my own medicine done is better than perfect. It would be better to get on and be like, Hey, my name's Sean. This channel is all about the best tips and tools for, you know, but I keep procrastinating cause I want to make it fancy and whatnot. Don't copy me. Just get it up. Just get it up. Welcome people. Let them know. You know, and I think about it, here's here's a good thing, youth man, you probably already know this language, but think media, this is super important. Features and benefits, features and benefits, features and benefits. What is it your audience, like value proposition, you could say, oh, I do home theater reviews. Okay, that's kind of cool. Thanks, I appreciate it. There's a lot of that out there. How about this? I help people save money on home theater. Oh, you got my attention. I want to save some money. Uh, I, I help people save as much as 50% on, on home theater equipment. Oh, like our passion here is helping you find the right stuff at the best prices and avoid the overhyped audiophile crap out there that is inflated 10 X pricing, whatever, you know, your niche, but features and benefits are this, a feature is I review home theater equipment. A benefit is I help you save the most money. Got it? Like uh, air conditioning on my Ford Explorer is a feature. I don't care that it has air conditioning right now when I'm sitting inside. It's got a cool feature called air conditioning. But what's the benefit of it? Well, when it's hot in Vegas, I'm cold. My desire is to not be you know, burning up in my car. My desire like we do a lot of training here on YouTube. Um, you know, we do free YouTube training like this. Well, inherently you don't want YouTube training. You might, but like for what? Unto what? Why? So you can get more views. So you can get more subscribers. So you can make more money on your YouTube channel. Those are benefits of the YouTube training. The YouTube training is in well light in this in lighting like this with this clear microphone you can hear my voice and i will show you the screen and review your channel why am i taking time on this i just because it'll help all of our channels what are the benefits you help people with in your niche and what are the features you need to communicate both i post new videos twice a week that's just a feature does it who even cares nobody cares but what they care about is i post 
two videos every week that'll make you laugh. You might not even say that. By the way, that should just be the benefit. And then you'll grow a channel that people will love because they're like, dude, I always laugh. My guy, Phil DeFranco, he posts videos five days a week. Inherently, who cares? There's plenty of it. There's too many videos to watch. But he's a news channel. He brings the goods. And after I'm done watching his show, he goes, uh, you know, that's it for me. You just got filled in. Ha ha, your name's Phil. But you really did. Like, he summarizes and compresses what's happening in YouTube, what's happening in the news for me. And I love him for it. Why? Because of the benefits, the features. And you want to talk about some benefits? Man, I'm never going to get through these channel reviews. So features are he does the news a couple days a week. Five days a week. Other features are he has different sections of his videos, right? He's got the first story. He's got Today and Awesome. He's got some of the other stories later on. But the benefits could be, A, just getting the news. But B, knowing being the smartest person at the next party. And by the way, dude's so smart. He'll say that stuff. He's like... Now, when, when your friends are spouting off wrong information about this thing that happened in the news, you'll know the right information. And guess how deep that just spoke to me, right? I'm like, that's right, man. I want to be the smartest person in the ruse. You know, like you're at some party and people are talking. You're like, well, actually, and you just want to be the person who like knows that extra piece of information. You got to know what you're selling and you got to know what people are buying. You got to know what are the benefits that people actually want. Man, it's a conversation for another time. And how did we get here? And how many tabs does Sean have open? <laughs> okay, we're on Youth Man. So Youth Man, love what you're doing. Killing it. Very, uh, you know, good for affiliate marketing, clearly. Uh, you know, tips I would give you are, before even going into tips, in a niche like this, dude, get to the events. Maybe you already go to them. Get to your home theater events. This just comes out of my personal experience. I live here in Vegas. CES and NAB have like single-handedly probably doubled my YouTube channel because we go every year. We'll go January. We'll produce 25 videos this next year. We'll be we'll have the latest videos on a lot of the the newest tech stuff, and they'll lead. We don't even know which ones will grow. Some don't even get views. Some blow up. We don't even know why. We're just putting out this volume of content, being on trend, being on the latest stuff. Um, the other thing I would encourage you is maybe try to carve out. You probably already know this. But just from what I know from being in tech, and, and, and you, you got to kind of balance this, but like, who's your target audience? How much money do they have, right? Because in home theater, you could probably spend $1,000 on your home theater setup, right? Or you could spend $100,000 on your home theater setup. And that's two different de- groups of people. So sometimes brands, you know, and it looks like you're, I can't even tell because I'm not that big of a home theater guy, but I'm not sure what where you find yourself. But how are you different in the home theater space? Just a kind of a, a general thought to think about strategically. Let's check out this about page. Um, if you, I love you. Come on, Think Media. It's about you. It's about your audience. It's not about, it's not about you. It's about the you you're serving. If you are interested in learning more about home theater, this is the place to be, man. This channel is about how, helping you learn. I love this because it's about your audience, about 4K, home theater, Dolby Outmost, yada, 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 and much more. Okay, I get it. I like this bonus content, by the way, because bonus content is cool. So I, that could be a, oh, you changed it already. Hey, my man, real-time updates. That's not my favorite quote, That actually. Uh, that was just the first thought, is like, click here for more content, like if I'm really thinking, right? Like something, but you, you could just try different stuff. Um, but it's probably better than just website for now. Only link up the uh, social accounts that are relevant. Like if you're not using Facebook, don't use it. Maybe you are. But to be honest, like if you're not posting here, August 10, August 11, it's pretty good. But like if it's not a if it's not a fruitful channel, if it's not an active channel, if it's not crushing, less is more. Just get people to your Instagram, get people wherever. Or lead with your kit if that's going to produce money, which it would. And maybe update your kit because you could, I mean, you got 300 views, affiliate marketing happening. So think about the strategy of maximizing that upper right-hand corner spot. Let's look at a few other things here. I love, I love the thumbnails. I love how readable the text is. I love that you're not over texting the images. Uh, a lot of good stuff happening here. A lot of good views. Um, and good ranking clearly smart because ranking specific products and then getting the search traffic off the specific products is smart. Um, Affiliate link in the top three lines of text, I'm guessing. 
loving that. If I would love one of these $3,500 receivers, my gosh, let's go Dolby Atmos. Um, love, yep, a lot of good links and what, what are in here. Here's a thought. I might strip this down. I probably spend a little bit extra obsessively long in my YouTube descriptions, but I, I, I craft every single one. So this whole idea, like that is so much overwhelm of links. That just looks like I'm getting punched in the face with links versus like best microphone for YouTube video. I'm not saying my descriptions are right, but like linearly numbered, I only reference what is um, actually in the video with 14 spaces that are unnecessary right there for some reason. Okay. And they're not even there. So whatever, but you see what I'm saying? Like I space it out. I'm just thinking just that, that's like a small thing. I don't think it's going to affect maybe results. That's just a lot in your description. Um, and, and, uh, crafting that good stuff. I think that you're killing it. I think that you've got a lot of good stuff going on in your channel. Um, I think that you're getting the views. I think that I would be really strategic right now for, um, of course, maximizing the holiday season, making plans right now, events if you can get to them, covering products nobody else's, um, collaborations, you know, a lot of the best practices. But I think here's here's a cool thing we can do. We can click the vidIQ stats right here and um, let's see what we're doing. And and this is this is one thing. You get to a certain place in your YouTube life where what you could say, once you've got growth, now it's just a matter of figuring some things out. So for instance, you're growing by 838 subscribers about, so almost a thousand a month. Why? Study your winners, study your winners of your most popular videos. You got the steady climb. So, so it kind of like, this should be super encouraging. You're like, dude, if that's what's happening, let me just do more of what I'm doing and get better at what I'm doing, right? Here's another growth factor. If you want to double your views and growth, double your videos. Now it's probably not going to be so linear, but just chewing on that challenge. Shoot. I only did five videos in this last time, which is great. By the way, it's about, it's more than one a week in the last 28 days or whatever, or in the last 30 days. But if you could get that to 10 videos, you could probably double the growth of your channel. If you can keep quality high Well, Sean, I don't know if I can. Well, if you say you can't, you can't. Because whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Famous quote from Henry Ford, right? But if you go, not I can't, how could I get to 10 videos a month? Growth factor, kicks in growth. All right, rapid fire. No more super chats. Where are we at? Uh, done is better than perfect. Thanks, Fern Family Vlogs, for posting that. I super chatted. We got Brady, my man. Okay. Helping you build wealth by getting out of debt. I love that. Um, good stuff. Uh, okay. Good. All right. Description. I help people build wealth by getting out of debt, showing the young entrepreneur how to become a successful business leader. This may be a race, not a sprint. It's a marathon. Uh, we don't believe in get rich quick. We believe in $1 at a time. So I will say this though. I'm gonna tell you the first impression that I have of your channel kind of has a, sort of a get rich quick vibe to me. But here's how you can avoid that is I feel like it could just be a little more personal. So like I would love to see a little bit of you in this because this is the value proposition of the channel. But I'd love to see like, you know, but this is hard to do. But you could put your story, by the way, your story could be put into two sentences, three sentences. Put your story in there. Like, because my net, here's, here's especially if you talk about making money. Why should I trust you? How do I know you're a successful business leader? What are your results? Or, and this is, this is like the four paths of an expert. Number one, you've already crushed it and gotten the results. And you're now going, you're, you're like, I'm going to come help you get where I got. There's other ways to do that though. The other path is you don't have to actually have got there yet. You could say, I'm on a journey to get there, join with me. I'm a few steps down the road. You can follow me on the journey. The other path is you interview the experts. You haven't even got the results yourself, but you create a channel where you bring everybody else on. A good example of that is Eventual Millionaire. It's like the perfect example of that actually. 
So eventual millionaire Jamie Tardy um, probably knows actually how to eventual spell millionaire. That's my spelling. Watch Sean spell live for super chat money to see the, f okay, this is embarrassing. Come on, Google. Okay, great. Thank you. So eventual mi millionaire, it's in the title. Uh, sh before she was a millionaire, the, the vision was eventual millionaire. And then what she did was she interviews millionaires. And now she's also a millionaire. She wrote a book called Eventual Millionaire, you know? And so you get the idea. So all I'm talking about is the different paths of positioning yourself as an expert. Again, you've either, you're already a millionaire. So you're like, now I'm gonna help other people do it. Or you're like, look, I'm on a journey to be a millionaire, which is her. Uh, and now she, I believe she's there, but, or you're also like, look, I just, I, I bring you the millionaires and I interview and bring, bring you the best information, which she also did. I forget about the fourth path, path is, but there's definitely like four major paths of, of, uh, I learned that somewhere. Okay. Tabs. All right. Tabs. Where are we? We're going back to Brady. So anyways, one of the biggest things is I do just think that like, is, is, is you have a lot of skepticism. You just have to get over, um, with, with something like this. And so let's talk about this. Brady is again, if you're going to position yourself as an authority, you think about the essential check items of positioning yourself as an authority. There's a reason why I start my streams with this slide. A, it's true, you know, but B, helping you build your influence with video. I'm like, I'm trying to have clarity in the world. This is what I do. As seen on Forbes, VidCon, Success, YouTuber, Biola University. I haven't updated that in a while. There's some new ones. What's the point though? Again, if I, which I do, I just did a training how to make $100 a day in, in affiliate marketing. But besides getting that results, you gotta know though, people are super skeptical. They are naturally, because they think, wait, are you gonna trick me? What's your thing? So here's, I learned this really from Lewis Howes. And if you don't follow him, I encourage you. He talked about how much he invests in his brand, he invests in his own coaching, but in graphic design in his brand. But because he doesn't, he just wants his vibe. If, he, if you're helping people, grow their influence, make money and stuff, those types of things. It's not so much that I mind like the the flashing the money here. I think that's actually kind of cool and you can build out your whole brand around that um, potentially. But I do think thinking about, here's the, here's the summary, I've said a lot. Thinking about the story, tell your story, whether in your videos, on your about page, you know, we've all seen Ty Lopez ads. He's like, look, man, I went from having $47 in my bank account sleeping on my mama's couch or whatever to, I don't know, doing what he does to having a Ferrari and having knowledge and books. But he tells the story in one sentence. You know, I went, I went from fired, getting fired by three freelance clients to creating a full-time income with YouTube and affiliate marketing uh, around my passion. True story. So think about compressing your story, telling it at different times in your videos on your about page. This will help. But I, I hope that all these channel reviews are helping everybody on the stream, right? Think about, and then think about credibility, especially when people are making snap judgments, whether that's logos, where you've been featured. And then you might say, Sean, well, I don't have those. Go get them. That's a conversation for another time. Like I have intentionally pursued iconic publications of authority because that's how you build authority is by actually having authority and being on authoritative publications. Your content's gonna be one of them, but your credibility by who you've been associated with, other people you've worked with, brands and publications you've been on, PR, press and media, just things that are gonna help you on your journey. And again, because when people are skeptical on the internet and I see you have 17 subscribers, I'm just, this is real talk, bro. Like, it's just gonna be hard for me to say, like, like the impression I'm seeing right here is not signaling to me build wealth. Fair? You know what I mean? Like, I'll tell you what is, is, uh, you know, Grant Cardone. Now, I'm not saying you should compare yourself to him. Dude's like 35 years into his career, you know? But like, the whole nother vibe of, he's got his conference going, he's got the suit on. Now, I'm not saying you should wear a suit. You gotta be you. But dude's at a whole nother, like, like it's, it's emanating off the messaging, right? You know, Ed Milet, just thinking about some of these guys. 
it's the branding, the pictures, the imaging, then the intros of the videos. And these are, you know, wealth building guys, right? So just a couple thoughts. I think that, I think those would be very helpful. Positioning, branding, getting your channel optimized for the messaging that's behind it, credibility and telling your story. Uh, last final things, you know, less words on your thumbnails, uh, hook up your social media links, call to action. I'm sure there's some kind of call to action so you could hook up your website link, do that, get your story on your about page, cleaner thumbnails. And, and then here's a couple things. I'm going to say this in a, in attention, like this text is too small. I don't know if you wanted to show all this stuff on this side, but like that could say more over there, some stuff, the, how to get out of debt one's pretty good. And how these are even better, but some of these like four steps, how to hire employee, like harder to read, whatever is the last thing I would say is I want to encourage you, like keep pumping out videos, keep doing what you're doing. Um, keep, uh, at the current level of your camera quality and everything else, but also level up that production value. The same thing. It, this is the simple fact, friends, people judge books by their cover. I wish people didn't judge books by their cover. That doesn't matter. You can be romantic about that all day long that you want, but people judge books by their cover. So leveling up the production value, here's a funny thing. And by the way, at some point, I'm going I'm to shoot it straight to you guys. I'm going to shoot straight right now. We're doing seven figures in our business, okay? Seven. That means we'll do a million dollars, maybe 1.5 this year, top line revenue, okay? Um. We live in this house here that whenever I shoot videos and Facebook ads on it, people are like, dude, it's not, not people, like one dude is like, how are you going to tell me about how to kill it with while you're just shooting these videos from your little apartment? So of course I wanted to tell homie, well, I don't live in an apartment. Like, like not that it even matters, but that's the kind of stuff. That's how you want to react. But what I realized is people judge a book by their cover. Now, if there's a book called The Millionaire Next Door, you know? So that's the thing. You never know how well people are doing. There's a lot of, there's a verse in the Bible that says one person, you know, fakes it. They try to keep up with the Jones. Man, they're leveraged dead up to their eyeballs, man, trying to like have the car and the clothes. A lot of times people who are like that are actually broke a lot of times. But you know, I'm not even here to judge. I don't care either way. I don't care if you buy a Ferrari. I don't care if you live in a house or apartment. That's not even what matters. People judge a book by their co its cover though. So I'm thinking to myself, I'm just like, man, how are things positioning? So what's my point? I'm not about to try to move because we're lean and mean, man. Living in Vegas, reinvesting in our business. Shoot, like it's just my wife and I and our dogs. Like, why do we need a new house? We don't, you know, we live in a sweet spot, but it doesn't necessarily appear as like this millionaire. You know what I mean? So the punchline is people judge a book by their cover. Thus, how do you level up your production value? How do you level up your set? How do you level up your appearance? How do you level up your whatever? Now, same thing, bro. You might be like, look, man, it doesn't matter. You know, it's the new world of entrepreneurship. Ma 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 Mark Zuckerberg wears a hoodie. Gary Vaynerchuk wears a tee. Fine. But also, but Gary Vaynerchuk's production value, man, is fire at another level. You know what I mean? Gary Vaynerchuk's all over freaking stages, like getting like selfie crowds are like fainting. He's like Michael Jackson. So, so there's a lot more branding happening there. So that's kind of what I mean. I hope this conversation is helpful to think about your brand, think about your positioning, think about the packaging and get over being romantic about it. Sean, I don't like that you're judging, you know, all this kind of stuff. Like people should be able to wear what they want, live where they want, dress how they want. I agree. But if you care about being credible in strangers' eyes, that's the context of what I'm saying. People judge a book by its cover. And Brady, uh, Brady, this isn't ultimately directed by you. I'm just getting inspired <laughs> by every channel. I'm thinking about these messages, right? Gary Vaynerchuk, uh, Raphael, is one to say. And so I just think, you know, so what's your cover? What's your packaging? Package your content and yourself based on the results, the income, the impact, the first impression you would want a stranger to have of you. I think that's some stuff that will help you uh, work on for a while, Brady. Uh, if you're getting value out of this, can you smash like? Tell me in the live chat if you'd like me to do more of those, these, and uh, let's land the plane.
if I didn't do a channel review for you and you did super chat, tweet me right now. Please no more. I can't tell if they're still coming in, but we're on the final frontier with a twist. My man. Okay, here we go. I like where you're shooting there. That looks like a fun room. Videos every Sunday. Great. Telling my story through with a twist. Vlogs, reviews, and more. Life with a twist. A couple things I love about what you're doing here. Uh, Dylan. First of all, great graphic design. I like this. I see that you've got the ability to do that. Secondly, um, definitely a YouTube vibe, meaning like fun, kind of like, I don't even want to call it like a gaming, but, but I kind you know, superhero-ish, definitely seen that vibe. I will say, um, I don't still fully know what it means. Like telling my story through with a twist. If I'm hardcore on you, that's not even a sentence. I'm just being hardcore. So thanks for checking out with the twist. My name is Dylan and I'm committed to sharing my unique experience with the world. And I like the idea of looking back on this moment. So Dylan, I'm about to get hardcore on you, bro. Sean's leaning back into the darkness because his back is kind of sore from leaning in this whole time. Um, that sentence is all about you, man. So you want to share unique experience with the world, more power to you. You want to look back on those moments. I'm just, I'm just saying... Okay, let's read it more. On this YouTube channel, you're going to find weekly reviews, vlogs, and stories that are relevant to my fun, unique, crazy life. Okay, it's all about you so far. My passion is to entertain others with the things I do. Kind of became about others. It's all still about you, though. Also, I want to inspire others to do new activities. Love your heart. I'm not even saying your heart's wrong. It's not a judgment. I'm just saying what the packaging is, right? Be sure to comment, say hello. Now, I will say this, you know, you're like, Sean, what you may have noticed is what I preach is like niche channels, you know, practical gardening, real estate, cryptocurrency, like anything, man. It could even be other stuff. But what I don't typically emphasize is trying to be Jake Paul. I'm not I'm not trying to say you're trying to become Jake Paul, but I'm trying to say that the YouTuber path. I want to be a famous YouTuber. I want to vlog. I want to inspire and entertain through vlogs. The reason I don't talk about that too much. And here's the thing. I haven't watched your videos. So Dylan, I don't want this to like kill your dreams. I'm not even saying that is your dream, but if it was, if you're going to go down that path, you have the same chances of making it in my opinion, as you do in Hollywood. And there's a mostly unemployed people in Hollywood right now. At any given time, most actors are out of work. Because you're in the entertainment industry. Got it? The difference in strategy that I would talk about is you're more like in the value-based knowledgepreneur, infopreneur industry. Gardening videos, other, you know, cooking, checkers, or even like the Walking Dead conference, Walker Stalker Con, commentary on all, like it's planting a flag in a niche. And But here's the difference. The reason I hit that so hard is because I believe that that's how we're going to get 10,000 people to full-time on YouTube. The, the, the dirty secret is the people who are going to make it in entertainment are probably just going to make it or not. Now, that's not fully true. They definitely need some strategies. We coach a lot of people that are also on that path. So there's definitely tweaks, strategies, positioning. But this goes into if you want to make it as a, a music channel or a comedy channel... Here's the freaking dirty secret of a music channel. People are like, dude, how can I growth hack my mu music channel? Here's my answer. Your music has to be good. And people have to care. But here's what's different. But Sean, how can I grow my gardening channel? Your videos have to be okay. But here's the difference. They just have to be helpful. And the ability to share your knowledge, your answers... I'm not trying to talk you out of your channel, Dylan. I'm just trying to add value to Think Community. Your ability to share your answers about getting smoky eyes, saving money on your taxes, you know, whatever. Or like maybe value-based vlogging as in travel. So there's some things you can do. 
travel, taking people with you. You know what I mean? Like taking people to, uh, to sites and scenes. There could be a value, how to raise your kids, family vlogging. A lot of people watch it because they want to see someone else's life and learn some things. But if it's purely like, yo, man, check out my life, man. Check out what I do, bro. Check out what's happening. Follow me. You also just have to realize you're competing with thousands of other channels that are doing that same thing. With that, Dylan, I'm not, I'm not trying to talk to you. I'm really not trying to, but just kind of what inspired me. I do want this to be you based. Like uh, you either believe in your stuff or not. You might say something like the funniest YouTube channel on the internet. Like new videos every Sunday guaranteed to make you laugh. Why not even just plant your flag? Like, how can you guarantee it? At least someone will watch it. And then if they're like, I'm never watching again, I didn't laugh. But you know what I mean? Like, what's the promise? If it's entertainment, you know what I mean? Like, videos that will always leave you, Y-O-U, you inspired. You know what I mean? Just branding, positioning for you, for the rest of the community. If Twitter and Instagram are your most important things, Love that those are linked up there. If they're not, link up your other social media accounts. Let's check out your videos. So, uh, challenges, cool. Uh, senior graduation, painting, last day of high school. What, how I do what I do. Okay, this is cool. Let me check this out. So what I'm understanding though, bro, and by the way, it, it, it is working for you. Um, in the sense of, I mean, you got 800,000, 800,000, you probably want 800,000 subscribers. You've got 823, you're getting some views. People are paying attention. You just got to count the cost of building the tower and the rate of growth. See if you love what you're doing. And basically this is what it seems to me. It, it seems like, again, it's, it's going to try to build by entertaining, um, people. And I mean, tweaks you could do. Cause it kind of, this is actually where it's interesting is that sometimes, and there's tweaks, like I think some of the thumbnails could be more readable. The video titles could be more search based, but before we even get to those types of strategies, I think we have to pull it all the way back down to like, we got to have clarity on the low level, level strategy. That's why we actually created a, that different masterclass than the one that was all about video ranking. Cause we realized probably the most important thing that you need first is a clear plan, a clear strategy, a clear target audience. And then you want to build on top of that, the tweaks. This is the difference between strategy and tactics, right? Tactics are thumbnails are the key to unlocking your YouTube channel. Nothing could be farther from the truth, man. I'm not saying this to you. I'm saying this to everybody. People are like, dude, thumbnails are the answer. Titles are the answer, bro. People are like, look, look, man, if you just started doing trends, those are all tactics and tactics are actually never the answer if you don't have a solid strategy. Strategy always comes before tactics. Oh, there's hashtags now. Cool. That's a tactic. Nobody grew their influence by a tactic, right? You grow it by a strategy. What's a strategy? Your positioning in the market, your content upload schedule, your target audience, your unique branding, your unique positioning, why you're different in the world, your content strategy, your growth strategy, your income strategy tactics get layered on top of strategy and then it's those small tweaks like thumbnails titles whatever the problem is too many people focus on tactics and it's like they're rearranging the chairs on the titanic like great let's move the couch from here to over there or let's redo the channel cover let's do this thing over here if you don't got a solid strategy sorry sean's getting saucy as he's getting tired sean's talking about himself in the third person and that's weird um, my man. Okay, that should add some value. I got to, I gotta go. I, <laughs> I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just hungry, man. Uh, okay, what do we got? So, Baniac, screenshot of the super chat. I like that. I like that. I like that. Lion, you know, name the reference. I like that. Okay, Snapchat. Uh, Bananiac, Bananiac, so pretty cool. I barely see, I caught it, it says simple vegan recipes. So I kind of figured it was food based. I do see, okay, I'm into it. I get the cover. 
there's a little, it could be a little bit tweaked, but I, I get it. It took me a while. You know what I mean? Like there's some text here, but this text is kind of confusing. There's the name, but it also says it right there. I, I would love maybe a rearrange, like there's maybe too much. Like this guy gets cut off over here. Like this empty jar kind of gives me a vibe that she made a smoothie. Less is more though. I might, I might give, again, it's not to declare that the Sean Cannell channel is like the end all be all of things, but, um, the Sean Cannell specifically, but just as a, a concept for maybe just doing a few simple images with like a bold declaration, and by the way, good artist copy, great artist steal. So if you like that cover, screenshot it, put it on Canva, send it to a designer, put your name above it, put your three things below it. Dude, I don't care, man. It's the way it works. Like, you're not copying it. It's a just, a, it's like a template. It's like a lay. It wasn't a template. I did make it originally, but like, it's just a, a layout. And also I'm not even saying to copy it the same. Maybe you're like, I want this, but identify maybe a couple other covers. This is for Think Media. Identify like your favorite covers, screenshot them, put them in your design software and like layer your elements on top of them. And you just let the heavy lift, you know, as opposed to trying to come up with something on a blank slate. Just a tactic, a tactic for updating your cover image. Um, and then the promise. So it took me a while to kind of wrap my head around the vegan recipe thing. I think that's strong. Obviously already a tribe. My name is Tino. People know me as Bananayak. I'm a vegan YouTube content creator and a nutritionist. I have a bachelor's degree. You know, this also, this right here is, here's what I would do. And here's like what I'm saying when I tell you to do this. I'm not, I, I would move this sentence, copy, paste to first, and then I would say who you are. Lead with value and then introduce yourself. I did not do that here and this channel never gets updated. So let me see if I do that. Maybe, maybe I'm even giving you bad advice because you're like, Sean, that's not even your about page. But I think what I mean here, let's see. The point is the intent. So I guess, okay, thanks for checking out Thick Media. My name is Sean Cannell, and this channel is about the best tips and tools for online video. So I just feel like something like to say, like, what it, like lead with them. And by the way, if I took my own medicine, this is, this is what I'll be updating. But one of the reasons I'm telling you to do this is not because if you move the sentence, it's gonna cause your channel to grow. I want you to move the sentence in your mind. And this is for all of Think Media. I want you to move the sentence to just what you lead with is what's in it for the audience. That's my point. And when you, because it makes sense, when you structure your own messaging, your own about page, your own cover image, all of your content to essentially be like this, you know, people say, what is in it for them? They land on my Twitter. I help people build their influence with YouTube and online video. A lot of people's Twitters, right, are like, yo, I'm like an a, a author, a Forbes top 20, a uh, dog lover, a uh, gamer. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, bro, but like what's in it for me? That's just what I mean is the punchline is lead with what's in it for your audience in your own strategy, in your own thinking, but then also potentially in your actual positioning of your content. I'm hedging right now, deleting 100 tabs, trying to even find where you are, there you are. So even a thought here, and this isn't, uh, this is a good opportunity. It's cool you're a vegan. It's cool you're a nutritionist. It's cool you're a YouTuber. It's cool you're an author. But you could say like, I hope people live more energetic lives through whatever. I think there's something about having a tagline. There's something about having that promise out there of, of how this channel adds value. Because I imagine that's what it does. So let me look here. But maybe that's not true. Because, okay. So then I'm like, what are these videos about? So I get the vegan theme. You're helping others adopt the plant-based diet. So subscribe for weekly nutrition, fitness advice, vegan lifestyle, Q&A, healthy recipes. Could also be like your guide um, for going vegan. Maybe you are or you aren't that, but other than that, okay, so then I like the fact that I kind of get it. So it's variety content, but in a good way. Variety content under a clear theme, a clear tribe. When I read your about page, I really understood it. So then your videos are, are building that out. Your subscribers are building it out. So you got a lot of good things going. 
Um, I would identify your top 10 videos, do more of what's working. So we have a couple of trending videos. Two years ago, pasta does not make you fat. That's still ranking. It's getting 0.6 views an hour based on our vidIQ trending tab here. So evergreen videos, ranking videos, a lot of opportunities there. Great views. Um, some of the thumbnails are a little busy. I think they could go a little bit further. Like, so like just an example here, this kind of enticing to me, but like it reveals like all the, it's so much different words. My question would be this, what is the most popular vegan book? Or maybe there's like two. Cause you could maybe just put like one or two covers and then you could put like best vegan books. Just a thought, just kind of busy. This is great. 50 K subs. Uh, great. Like a lot of creative thumbnails. So loving all that. Um, I'll go into playlists here. You know, playlists should be optimized almost the same way videos are optimized is the punchline. So like response videos, probably good because you're just categorizing your videos all about fitness and staying active. Decent. Vegan friendly product reviews, pretty solid. But here's what I mean. Your thumbnails should be like re-emphasizing authority of of um, your concepts in your video. So if my video is labeled like how to get more views with YouTube, not with vidIQ, bad example, not actually a good example, but I don't have enough videos in the series yet. Um, like YouTube living strips and tutorials. It should almost be a promised based title in and of itself, right? And then every video under that is also optimized, right? So I think that it's cool you're categorizing using playlists. For time's sake, we won't go too far into it, but playlists help you rank videos. They help the algorithm. They help Google understand where your videos, what they're associated with. They also increase watch time. I mean, you can just see from, if you go to your analytics, Creator Studio, when someone just watches a video on Think Media, for example, they probably watch it for four minutes and something seconds is the average view duration. 413, got it? Watch this, videos and playlists get 656 average time in a playlist. So that's almost, you know, uh, it's almost three minutes more watch time if someone starts session in a playlist. So optimizing your playlist, we have done future past training on that. Um, great channel. Uh, killing it, great views, you know, more, keep doing more of what you're doing. Uh, you just uploaded a channel trailer. I'm seeing that right now. Love that. So then is your channel trailer your channel trailer though? That's my next question. So make your channel trailer your channel. I'm not subscribed and it's still a 50K giveaway. So I'm glad that's out like sweet, but that should be right here, right? Because if I'm not subscribed, I should see that first. So that's a cool catch. And this is great. This actually, I would encourage Think Media to go check this out. 30 seconds. In, Tino introduces himself. Okay, now I'm trust. So see, this is game over. This shows you the power of a channel show. You have a, a bachelor's degree in whatever you call it, Dianetics. I'm a vegan. So I'm getting to know you. And so, boom. But yeah, so make that your channel trailer. Love the length. Think Media, check out this video. Go, go blow it up um, because it's really great. And it's 30 seconds, steal a script. Transcribe it, good artist copy, great artist steal. Hey, my name is Sean and I'm a da 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 and this channel is about in 30 seconds, man. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Um, guys. Guys, okay, here we go. Good video. Did you want me to look at the video? Okay, we're already on the channel. All right, Elena. Worldwide travel and Disney. New videos every week. Great. Understand the promise. Um, about page. Welcome. I help dreamers, wander less, and travel seekers by creating a message about tips and tricks, sharing what I've learned and my thoughts of never ending travel. I'm always on the go. So good. I help. Come on. Come on, Elena. 
I help. Who do you help, Think Media? Lead with who you help, man. Get your Twitter updated. I don't. I mean, I don't care that you're a book lover, dog lover, Pepsi drinker. Who do you help? My passion is making people laugh. You don't have to say I help. It's a good way to lead, though. I help people build their influence with online video. If someone needs help with online video. Boom! It's like a magnet. Somebody wants. Somebody like wants to like know all about world travel and Disney. You're either in or you're out. That's good messaging, though. It's great messaging. Try and reach everybody. You end up re- reaching ne- nobody. I think there could be more in here. Maybe like another sentence or two. And again, who's your homework? Think media. Work on your about page. Why? Sean, will it grow my channel? It probably won't. Here's why I want you to work on your about, about page. Yes, for your audience, because people do stop by there. But more than that, it's for you. You need to clearly articulate who you are for yourself. Who even am I? You know what I mean? Who am I? You wake up. I don't even know who I am. Who do I help? What do I do? You got to get personal clarity. And then you want audience clarity. Work on your about page. Look at some good ones. Do them. Okay. So playlist. We shared some tips on that. You know, here's here's a way that I would think about titling um, uh, uh, vid- playlists. It should say Disney Cruise Line Review Videos. Why? So that could be called Disney Cruise Line Review Videos, right? If they're reviews, maybe they're not. And then they're underneath the umbrella of something someone's actually working for, looking for. Disney review. And if you haven't seen this up before, watch our masterclass. Disney review, you know, Disney cruise vlog, uh, vlogs. 50 people search that a month, man. You're, it, even if you don't rank for it, at least your playlist is better and your videos are better positioned to actually get views than they potentially are by just saying Disney cruise line. What does that even mean? Like, this is the actual cruise line? Is it a GPS? Of the, you know what I mean? Like value-based playlist titles, value-based search-based video titles. Can't go too far into that right now. I think that um, uh, tubeinfluence.com, right, is the one that you want to watch if you haven't seen it. Discipline. Just because I see Dave Matthews sneaking in here, I'm like, what does that have to do with Disney? That's discipline. Now, it's not going to hurt. It's not the end of the world. Guess what? You get to do what you want. Still got views. People love you. They probably wanted to see you there. But that's that's the discipline of staying on brand because it's Magic Kingdom. It's Animal Kingdom. It's Cruises. It's Disney. It's Dave Matthews. What's he doing there? One of these things is not like the other. Again, I'm not even trying to say that's that big of a deal. But as you keep building your brand, like I stretch some things on Think Media, you know, like I talk about building your email list because video influencers should build their email list. But if I show up on Think Media one day and I'm like, today, I'm going to show you how to make a tasty lime cocktail, you know? Welcome to recipe videos with Think Media. You'd be like, what the heck? You know, it would be too. So just that's what that's what's about being on brand with your theme. Just a thought. Uh, love that value. Our cruise line drink package is worth it. Like, I, that's brilliant, you know? Because that's like, I'm also wondering that. Like, are they? I don't know. So great. Um, and even by the way, good job. So look at this, uh, think media, you know, Disney drink package, 17 ranking proof that you're on the right path. I think with your video optimization, some of the things you could, you know, cause 17, no one's going to probably find that. Like who makes it to the 17th video? Not many people, but it's proof that what you're doing, what you're thinking is working. So as you tweak and maximize those strategies and build more channel authority, good stuff. So good optimization there. Thumbnails are a little busy for me. Um, Cause the fonts like fun for all, all for fun. I don't know if I need that. Like, are these branded? I mean, I actually get that they're all in the same thing. So I kind of like that. Just a thought though. I'm very minimal, minimalist. Like I love this thumbnail. You could probably tell why, right? Cause it pops white on black pops there. It's a, it's a um, sans, font or a sans serif font, whichever one, kind of like Tor Storyland. So some of these are great. Some of them get a little messy and harder to read. The Disney font, I get it's a cool font. Sometimes maybe one word, kind of like, kind of like, you know, you did, like you could say Disney fish extenders in a different font. 
and it, it brands the Disney. Just a thought. Like, I think they're working, but decluttering your thumbnails, I think, is, is just good. You know, like, you want it to be clear, readable, because it's so small. Minimum number of words. Um, loving that. And you've got some great momentum here. You're pumping out great content. Um, you're clearly doing it. And, you know, I'm watching this. Welcome to day five on Carnival Access. We're on. So I get this. And people would want to watch this. You're narrating people through. I love that. I think you're on a great. I, I love your niche. I love what you're doing. I get the vlog thing. People can go along with you, which I get it. I, I would do that. When I start researching a place, I start watching vloggers. I'm like, dude, show me some stuff. There's a lot of opportunity for ranking for certain things and whatnot. So that's really good. Then you're also value-based videos like are the drink packages work, get, wor worth it? Really good too. So just keep it going. Love what you're doing. Very good channel. Very cool stuff. Few tips there. And where are we at? Did I miss anybody? Um, that did a super chat. I got one right here. Tweet me right now. No more <laughs> super chats. But uh, I want to catch up and got on the ones I did here. I get that this is a car channel. I'm going to say this. I don't need, okay, Octane, Octane Frex. Took me a second. Okay, Octane Frex. Be driven. If, you, if you're correcting me right now and you're like, Jacob, Sean, you're saying it wrong. You're saying it wrong. You're just getting insight to how, to how confusing it is. It do, if it doesn't matter if, if I'm saying it wrong, then it doesn't matter. But it is kind of like, it took me a while to see Octane. I'm not saying you should change your name. But, you know, epic meal time. Dude, I know what it's, I know what it's about, man. It's a good brand. Good logo. Good brand clear you get what you get in the actual title i get the octane there um but the name is what you make it because what is google nothing until it's google it's a stupid name until it's like a super valuable name I'm not saying your name's stupid uh but i'm just saying that your name is what you make it but if you were to say yeah just just initial so i get here i get that it's about uh cars love that um, be driven. I get that. I still don't really get a value proposition. I would change this. I understand you can see the cars, but I would throw black behind that. I would make that like more poppable and meetable or not because it might not even need to be there. Cause you got your name up here and the be driven here. I would, I'd, I would state weekly videos. Are they car reviews? Are they just tours behind the street national? Like who's your target audience? Clearly probably pe people that are passionate about cars so that's kind of a given although you might have a different angle and then you might say like for the love of cars you know like eye candy that could just be it because maybe it's not reviews maybe it's not tutorials maybe it's not whatever but maybe it's like what is it and maybe you're about page will tell us i'm jake it's jake and carl from octane frx uh we as a team bringing content pertaining to anything automotive. Okay. So what I love is that you've narrowed your niche down that much, but it could go further, you know, like I, I'm joking here, but you know, this channel is for women because you already cut the population in half. So you already have a niche, right? But you know what I mean? Like it's still broad. So what kind of automotive? I mean, and if it's anything automotive, but if you try and reach everybody, you end up reaching nobody, right? So if I go to a, 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 a newsstand, who even goes to those anymore? Do those still exist? Um, but physical print magazines, there's a reason why there's like car and driver, but then there's, I don't even know, but then there is like the off-road ones. There's Jeep ones, right? There's Jeep ones. There's then like consumer reports. So I'm hearing about Camrys. There's luxury ones. Those are different verticals. And a lot of times people who are obsessed with luxury cars might not also be obsessed with cash cars. Maybe they will. So you have to maybe ch choose, but figuring out this is your positioning, right? What could your positioning be? Midwest, cars, trucks, bike content. Uh, okay, so now we're going broader. Still fine, but again, so like, yo, but we're gonna have cars, trucks, also some bikes, man, and some power sport videos. Cool. Just where do you wanna take it? One of the biggest piece of advice I could give you is like, what would winning look like in the end? Like, 
like five years from now, if you had reached success, if you could really be narrow, would you be like the go-to experts channel for like everything classic cars? Like if you had to narrow it down or would you be like a massive um, uh, empire that covers all things motorsports? Here's still my advice if you would build a massive empire. Small is the new big. Start small to get big. Listen to this. This dude was a church communications director. So I worked at a church. I wrote a book called YouTube for Churches. Start small to get the new big. I wrote a book called YouTube for Churches. I was the number one expert and still am probably on planet Earth for YouTube for Churches. Sean, how can you say that? Because I'm the only person who ever positioned themselves as a YouTube for Churches guy. I have the only book out on it that I know of, or at least the best selling book. You go to Amazon, YouTube for Churches. What's the point? Then I kept doing some things, built a full time income myself personally, whatever. And I shifted to now I'm like YouTube for everybody, if that will. And now I think personally, I'm the most subscribed and watched YouTube trainer online right now. That's just what the numbers say. Like, with respect to all the people that are, are doing, you know, my friends, Daryl, Tim, whatever. If you just look at our numbers, because we also got two brands. So right now I'm just to defend myself. Cause I don't want to make outrageous claims about things that um, are not facts, but you know, like I'll, I'll check out uh, a different people that are either directly or indirectly related to our niche niche. This is Sarah Dietschy, although she's maybe more vlog and not teaching YouTube content. So she's getting close with her average views a day right now at 51,000 thinks at 54,000 views a day, right? Think video influencers is at 26,000 views a day. And so you can add those two together and you could see whether it's, you know, again, why do I say that? I say that because start small to get big. So now my niche is broad. This is one, this advice I gave to a YouTube creator the other day, like another YouTube coach, because that's not even the full list. There's probably like 30, 40 of them I could probably list off the top of my head now, right? And what I was saying was I said, if, if I was gonna go into this space right now, I would not try to be like the YouTube coach for the planet. I would be the YouTube coach for female uh, business owners, um, yeah, like female entrepreneurs that are in business. Does that make sense? Or I would be like the YouTube expert for real estate agents because small is the new big. And after you, and if you want to get big, start small. That's a big principle, right? And now, so like obviously these brands, video influencers, think media has grown. But I bring that back to your channel to say, I think there's something about becoming the known, you know, like, in fact, almost everybody who's ever blown up in something usually blew up because they really went deep on one thing. It's like Lewis Howes, man. That guy's got a Facebook watch show now for like inspiring with Lewis Howes and he's got School of Greatness and all this stuff. He started out as being a LinkedIn guy. Like he picked one social media platform that nobody was an expert on and he just went all in on it. You know, I think about, I don't know, Dave Ramsey, like just the financial peace guy later in his life. He's doing entree, entree leadership. He's doing a hundred other things, but he didn't start big. He started just helping people like get out of debt, you know, financial peace. And then I think about even like me, you could say, I just, I started making a ton of money just doing gift idea videos. Like I figured out one thing. So that was a long story that I just think adds value to your channel in the sense of, um, uh, like what, can you narrow down in to become like the channel? Like that's why some guys that like they focus on just Tesla and kill it. Then later they can maybe focus on all electric cars. And then later they maybe have so much money and infrastructure and brand that they could start a whole thing that, you know what I mean? So I think that's what I would do. Um, I love though that you're pumping out videos. Clearly you're editing. I like this intro here. That's nice. That's super clean. I love, um, kind of a vlog style here, but whatever you're shooting with looks super crispy. Freaking love this. So like your production value and a lot of the stuff that's happening here, you're, um, you're putting out great content, I can tell. Again, it goes back to the positioning, the messaging, the clarity of your channel, I think, if that makes sense. Um, that could really help. Okay. Um. Tell you what, guys, look, man, 
uh, um, I'm sorry, a few people. I'll hit Apple Insights because it's just a question. I got to go, guys, but I want to honor the super chats. Apple Insights, uh, I went through your two-hour training, got so much value, been on YouTube for eight years making Transformers videos. Now I'm getting into Apple tech side of YouTube, any insight, insights? Well, man, if you've been... Um, yeah, I mean, a couple, a couple of thoughts if you're getting into the Apple tech. Speed. Like take speed? No, no, no. Just drink coffee. But, uh, but speed of implementation. You want to be like, you just want to crush it in tech. It makes sense, right? But I mean, like I mean it. Be first. Leak, find, dig to find the stuff. Cover what nobody's covering. Uh, jump on new updates ASAP. Pull all-nighters to be the first one. Like, it just matters. Like, pull all-nighters to get your information out first. Um, and speed of implementation. And then just crush it. You've been, you got eight years of experience. Keep going. Okay. Rapid fire, guys. Young Hugs. Young Hugs, Young Hugs. hugs. I, see, I see the name. I don't know what it's about up here. I miss my parents. Still don't know what it's about. Fortnite solo. Now I'm like gaming, so I get the Fortnite thing. Popular uploads. Shaytards are back. Dude, I got no, no idea what's going on, bro. Let me see how. Here. I make weekly videos on what's trending, and I give it a positive twist. I need to see that right here. Um, You know, weekly. Uh, uh, so I'm drawing a blank, but that's the statement. Like weekly uh weekly news and trends without the negativity you know weekly um trends and news no negativity allowed minus the negativity minus the drama that all these other channels have right i also try to find the moral of the story what i love is it's working because you're getting subscribers here's the other thing Oh, Sean's about to lean back into the dark and go dark. Third person again, getting weird. He's tired. Here's the other thing. Um, you also don't always have to say, like somebody even said this the other day. They're like, you know, I want to do like, can't remember what it was. It was maybe business development advice. And they said, you know, and I also want to inspire people. And I was like this, one of the things you don't necessarily have to say in your cover, this is not for you, this is generally, you don't have to say it's inspiring. You know what you have to do is be inspiring. And what happens is if someone finds you on the value, so this is what it was like, you hear about edutainment, education that has entertainment. You don't necessarily have to say that you're edutainment. You have to just educate while being entertaining. So it can help if you declare that like, this channel is funny or this channel is inspiring. But the other thing you can declare is like, you know, keeping you updated on the latest internet trends without the negativity. Now that's actually kind of cool because you are saying, but then the fact that there's always a moral in the story, that's just what you become known for. Like no one's no one's like, you know, young hugs always finding the moral in the story. They would just eventually learn that you always find the moral in the story. So just something I've learned as you're positioning yourself and branding yourself, think media community, that sometimes you might just declare that like practical gardening tip videos but then what people learn when they search how to get redder roses and, and they're like, they meet you based off the value. They learn that you're funny and you develop a reputation that you're just funny. And, you, and then maybe sometimes it affects your branding. So you're like gardening videos with a comedic twist, but it also could just be gardening videos, but people just know you as funny is all I'm trying to say. Back to the channel review. Um, okay, so I definitely like I, I get now, which by the way, I wouldn't, I, I, I want to see something on the cover that declares what I can expect from you. I definitely like what you're doing here in the sense of hopping on trends. It seems like it, it's, it's variety. I could see that you've got a personality because people are subscribing. So you've got charisma and personality. People are loving your vibe. Um, I like that you've got an affiliate link here. You don't have an affiliate link here, or do you? Is this, oh yeah, that is you. So that's probably your affiliate, okay, good. So 
Beast mode, smart. Love that. Good, good. Link it up. Awesome. You could do a lot better on the optimization here. You've probably gone 90% of the way by showing it. I hope you say it in the video. I'll link to it in the description. You need that verbal call to action and you might have it, but think media, if you're going to link to something, give a verbal call to action. That's your most important thing, but then support it with copy. Like, and what is copy? It means that don't mean copywriting. I mean, copywriting, like writing marketing copy. This could say something like, um, uh, grab a bottle. I'm just typing it here of, uh, melatonin, uh, on Amazon here, like emoji arrow, emoji arrow, emoji arrow, affiliate link. And for God's sake, do the, do the smaller affiliate link. Just nice and clean. Just go up here, get link on the page you're on, just melon your tone in. So see if I'm on that page, I can click a link up here. There's my link. Boom. Nice and short. Copy that points to the link. Couple emojis. Why? Because every click matters. Everything matters. Every aspect, the verbal call to action matters, but what you do in your actual text matters. Definitely some video optimization stuff. Seems like your channel is resting a little bit more on trends and suggested videos, but you have a ton of opportunity for ranking videos in search. So uh, I think there's definitely something to look, and that'd be a goal. So how do you know a channel is killing it in ranking? Watch this. If you go to trending, right, and you don't see any videos trending on the channel, this is if you have vidIQ installed. There's other ways to find this information you know that that channel is maybe uh, like not ranking necessarily um, some videos very well. So then let me actually look at like Heather Torres. She should be ranking some videos, but there's probably a couple in here. They rank sometimes for like a while, maybe like months, even years, but then they might fall off. So if the trending tab is happening, it means that they're currently trending. And actually sometimes it's wrong. But actually, maybe right now, she doesn't have any videos trending. She hasn't uploaded in a while. So what does trending mean? It means videos that have velocity. So if you want to know, if you just, I mean, you can look, lift up the hood. It's so funny because every once in a while, people are like have uh, hate in the comments and whatnot. And they're like, you're not getting that many views. I'm like, dude, YouTube views are public. Like everybody can see everybody's YouTube views. VidStatX, Social Blade, trending. But check this out. So your goal would be if you're ranking a lot of videos is to have a page like this. These are all videos. And I think it just stops because if these are getting 4.1 views an hour, we have videos that get like 0.01 views an hour. All these videos are currently being watched on Evergreen right now. Just get, came up with like a video idea. It's like a pretty good, it's pretty good marketing. I mean, that's pretty like, who's the ranking guy? I mean, it's pretty legit. So like, what does that mean? It means that like, literally we've been hanging out for two hours, in the last two hours, this video's got 240 views. This video's got 200 views in the last two hours, all the way down to this video has gotten eight views because four views an hour in the last two hours. Dude, this is why you gotta rank some videos. Now, it's not necessarily, like some channels, it's like, it could be a core strategy. Some ch uh, channels, it's one of the strategies because you're gonna do more, like, well, how do I talk about like Shay Carl being back? It's not really search. Like, that's fine. I think you have an opportunity though to, to do search-based audience growing videos as well as like more topical, suggested, serve your subscriber type, type videos. Uh, for more on that, of course, watch our training at tubeinfluence.com because the dream, this is the dream, man. This is why I can just leave tomorrow. Like, this is why... I don't want to because I love doing what I'm doing, but I could just leave. I could probably just go dark, not forever, but I could probably go dark on YouTube for six months and like our business would say exactly the same. Why? Because YouTube is a search engine and if you rank videos, you get views while you snooze. I mean, 12 people an hour watch this video. I mean, 12, 12 8, 9 people an hour. Okay, you get the idea. Um... So young hugs, keep killing it, man. Keep uh, smashing. Um, here's what I'm gonna do. I gotta go, guys. I just do. It's been two hours, 17 minutes. I love you. I'm glad we've been able to hang out. Um, I'm gonna hit N Nihindo, one of the first super chatters. Uh, we definitely need to, Nahongo, sorry. 
if I said that right. We definitely need to cap it and limit it. This is going to be the last one. Hit me up um, if I missed you with a screenshot of your super chat. And we'll get those saved. And maybe we'll do like a Facebook Live or something. I'm Johnny. I'm a full-time Japanese teacher. Lives abroad in Japan. If you are interested in Japan, Japanese or paranormal, please check out my channel. Cool. Right now, I'm working on a Japanese Urban Legends series. Very cool. Very tribe-based. Like, it makes sense. I'm sure um, other people will be interested and whatnot. So, great way. I would love to maybe see that declared up here. I kind of, maybe it is. Like, I see your name. Maybe it's, maybe people can read that. Um, but like what, like right off in 10 seconds. And, and by the way, you know, seven seconds, I land on your page and I'm like, okay, what's this all about? And maybe I'm getting that. And if there's some suggested videos, I think, yeah, like Japanese Slender Man, like all this different stuff. I'm sure you could rank for that stuff. I'm sure. People are searching for it. Um, cool. Like, let me see here. Uh, Jap. Panese Slender. Okay. Slender is also spelled different ways, right? Let me see here. Slender Man. Uh, Jap. Anise. That would definitely be a tag. It's probably not going to matter much, but that they, that's what your tag should be, is like those actual predicted search terms. Slender Man underscore space PewDiePie. So let's see, Jap, Japanese Slender Man. Okay, so that's that's cool. So 110 searches a month, probably other people definitely talking about it. But I do think that would show you the the uh, logic, if you will, or at least the potential strategy of how to get discovered by ranking for these different urban legends and things. And if you could put the content out on there around it. So that's cool. Um. Cool. Good stuff. Love what you're doing. Let's see. Thumbnails. Love the thumbnails. Minimal amount of words. All on vibe with your channel. The Red Room. You know, Purple Mirror. Great. Uh, I, I totally get the clarity of what you're doing. I think, think about like just hitting me right up front with maybe some sort of a statement or a tagline or a promise. One thing I want to hit that I think would add value is, is just, hey guys. So not too bad. It's a preference thing, a little bit. However, the hey guys thing is something that I'm kind of passionate about because who are hey guys? Like, hey guys, so I land here. Hey guys? Johnny, we just met, bro. Like, what, what do you mean, hey guys? I don't know who you are yet. Now, this is an interesting debate. It's not necessarily right or wrong. It's just a perspective for you. The debate is, the simple fact, well, here's the fact. You're always going to be talking to two audiences on YouTube, right? Uh people who do know you, that's the hey guys. But you're also gonna to talk to new people. So there's a reason why uh, the format of our videos is kind of value-based. Like, new, new Slender Man's dropping soon, but did you know there's a Japanese Slender, you know, Slender Man? That's what we're gonna be covering in this video. Plus, um, I'm gonna be talking about some secret urban lore that um, from some of the unreleased books that not a lot of people talk, like know about. That's a nugget of why someone should watch coming up. Little bumper drops. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, you know, uh, Nihongo, Johnny here. I, I hope I'm not slaughtering that, you know. And uh, on this channel, we do all kinds of... So people might hate that. And at some point, you might be like, dude, Sean, I hate that too, man. I hate that. It's the way you do your videos. But it's, it's the way I choose to do my videos for the reason. Here's why I bring this up. Know why you do what you do. No one's ever going to like everything you do. And you can't please everybody. But know why you do what you do. So you're just always talking to two audio audiences. So who are you? What is your, you know, who are you? What's your channel about? Why does it matter to me? And that's why I'm like in this video or I say, uh, hey, what's up guys? Sean here with Think Media, bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. There's the tagline, but I said that so fast, you probably were like the freaking meaningless statement. Dude couldn't have said that faster. So that's why I say, Bring you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. And on this channel, we do a lot of tech gear and camera reviews, as well as tips and strategy videos, just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So I try to be brief with it, but just a thought. So just a feedback on like the hey guys, attracting new audience, bringing new people into your world. Um, you also could take, keep in mind, people say if you want to build your authority in a story, 
you don't want to take too long to tell your story up front. That's the big mistake people make. Like people early on, they're like, you know, well, my backstory is, and, and you're like, okay, dude, like get to the, tell me about the Japanese Slender Man. But you always concede a little bit of your story. You know, you go, you know, I've been passionate about, or I've been living in Japan for 10 years and I'm passionate. You know what I mean? Like one statement could like just uh, show something like that. You know, we recently crossed a million subscribers on YouTube across all of our channels. So in this video, like just saying that now gives you like a little bit of authority or you context, you make sense in the world. You know, I've been collecting uh, whatever, like just some sort of a thing that makes sense in the world as you introduce yourself. That's just two cents to spend however you want. I'm not even saying anything has to change. That's just my opinion on the Hey Guys introduction because you, there's people who are not Hey Guys. Um, good stuff. Keep going. Uh, love love the channel. Link up social. Always maximize. You can put those links right here. Link up social. Link up website. Um, and keep, I, I think that you're in a really strong niche. I think in the sense of just like we talked about way earlier on this stream, tribes means a tribe that's already existing. So there's, I think other fans, other people are, are, are into it. And so, um, that's great. Oh, my man, lucky, lucky. I'm going to hit you up right now. Thanks for the screenshot, bro. Channel reviews. I was just going to be on here for 30 minutes, two hours and 30, 26 mi minutes later. I love it though. We're killing it. Okay. We're on with Lucky and okay. A couple things that we could all learn from Lucky, even though this is not your channel trailer, this is so sick. There's so much flavor here and so much just kind of vibe. I get what it is, but like at least immediately, I, I love your vibe there. Just funny, funny edits, good music, shows your personality and character. I'm, I'm, I'm 12 seconds into this. I see camera gear on the, cause it was just good branding. So this actually shows, by the way, this is super small. I didn't even read any of this, but I just understood who you were. Do a channel, think media. I mean, do audit your own channel or let somebody else, let them just land on your channel and figure out if you make sense in the world. Lucky does to me and maybe to you too, because boom, I land here and I can hear this. This auto plays. I, I start seeing that there's gear. I see it's M100, but then I see him holding the camera. I see the phone and the avatar. I see the rig right there, and I see the name. Now, I actually think that this promise could be written bigger. It's kind of small, but you, you make the promise. Mo mobile video tips, reviews, mobile vlogging, boom. Love the niche. Love the focus. Let's keep going. Love these thumbnails. Minimalist and easy to see. Love this thumbnail. Be careful with going under the text. I mean, is it worth it? Could have just been moved up. Keep in mind, under the numbers, you know, it is gone. Is it worth, uh, easy to f easy finish to, easy story. What am I saying? Easy sentence to finish. Obviously, I knew it said it, but be careful of putting words under the numbers. Um, good thumbnails. Have we met before? VidCon or something like that? Um, maybe not. So... Great, great stuff. And what I would say is here, obviously this is similar niches, you and I, and a couple things that I need to know. Lucky, why aren't you uploading videos, man? What's the deal, man? Four months ago. Now I might, you might be saying, hey, yo, look, it's tough. I'm, it's hard, you know, whatever. But all I know is you haven't uploaded a video in four months. Come on. Your last video got 8,711 views. How many people in Think Media would wish you were getting 9,000 views a video? Tell me right now in the live chat. How many of you think Lucky is burying his talents? And I'm just being hardcore in you. But like, for real, like, uh, you're killing it. Like, this is good stuff. Do more of what's working. Um, this is This is great. By the way, I, and I love this too. It's not even a hey guys. What up? It's your boy, Lucky Braxton. So it's cool. And then you're like in today's video, by four seconds, he's at today's video. So cool, quick introduction. It's like meeting someone at a party. Hey, what's up? My name's Sean. And I would love to tell you a little bit about my brand new iPhone case. But like just strong, good, strong, good on camera presence. 
Leading in, good beats, cool, talking through it, love what you're doing, okay. This must have blown up and ranked for something. Yeah, you got some M100, should I buy the M100? So definitely some ranking, good job there. You're killing stuff, uh, good descriptions, cool, love what you're doing. So, I mean, so my, my biggest piece of advice for Lucky right now, right now, is post some videos, man. Like, do more of what you're doing because it's working. And uh, and then small tweaks lead to giant peaks. Delete this Google Plus thing off your social. Nobody needs that on there. Nobody's using Google Plus. Do you have a website? Hook that up. Connect that up. Fix, optimize this. What's up, people? I show you how to shoot video and photography on a smartphone and share ideas for smartphone rigs and setups. Dope production with cheap-ish. Let's do something lucky. I like it. Uh, it's pretty good. I show you how, and it, and, and I, I like your energy. That like I feel like for everything I've said on this live stream, it's just perfect. Because one, you do say you, but it's on personality. You could add more or less, but I think you've really done it here. Like it's got your vibe, straight to the point. I show you how to shoot video and photography with a smartphone, and share ideas for smartphone rigs and setups. Is your channel that clear? Think Media. Is your statement that clear? If it's confusing, then you're going to lose. If it's confusing, you're losing. Because there's a busy world out there. A lot of people are trying to grow their influence. And if you're like confusing is just being clear is just the barrier to entry. Like that's this thing one to get in the game. So you make sense in the world. And then you can add tactics on top of that. Lucky, the next thing I would say is this. is It's kind of an interesting place to go with the channel review is think about how you can invest in your channel. Meaning, um, like for me, it's, I think about like getting to events. I think about like, can I get to CES in January? I think about, can I go collab more? I just think about, because you've got good ingredients as a baseline. You just want to keep making more cakes. Cakes. How do you? How do you? Like the cake's already good. I can tell, right? So how do you sell more? How do you get more out there? How do you produce more? But then how do you expose? You got good energy. How do you expose expose your channel to other people? Collaborations biz dev partnerships, getting new products. I think if anything, maybe just have it being affirmed to say, keep doing more of what you're doing. Keep, of course, improving it, but keep investing in yourself and your channel um, because I think that you could scale and continue to grow uh, by doing that. So, uh, yeah. Okay, super chat. Man, when is all this happening? Sean cannot get through all of the super... The night they went all night. Providential friendship. PF. Okay. Couple things. Get ready. A, I do like this PF. However, you know when someone uh, doesn't actually upload, like Curtis, I hate to call you out, but here's our live stream. Like Curtis is just a, just a C. The problem with the PF, even though it's pink and it's clean, is like... It, it, it doesn't fully feel what I feel like you could do is like be Hans is actually reminds me of their logo. Do they even have a YouTube channel? See that? Like that's kind of the Adobe vibe, but because there's a gradient on there and there's like a line or something a little bit different, just some, I think just a thought because otherwise it's like, is that an accident or is that the brand? It's just, just a perspective. Um, Okay. Providential friendship or true friendship. Where does true go? I'm just, I'm confused to be honest. Um, a how to friendship channel. I like that because that makes more sense. But like providential friendship or does, where does true go? Does that make sense? This Instagram logo, like what's that doing up there? And then you have Instagram over here, which is great, but it is broken. So fix that up. Um, maybe delete that Instagram logo. Hook up your actual social media links. Let's read this. It's a channel teaching how to gain and maintain friendships to those who suck at it. Maybe change that language um, because <laughs> it's like, I mean, it makes sense. But like, you know, Think Media is a channel for how to get followers and subscribers for those who suck at it. <laughs> Maybe that would be strong. You tell me, Think Media, if that would be a better tagline. But it's true that someone who needs help might suck at YouTube right now. But... It's just, just a thought, optional. You might want to change it. Could be just a little bit more complimentary to your audience 
uh, to, to new people that are checking you out. Um, and so, uh, Lindsay says that'd be hilarious, but nah. So, you know, yeah, you know, helping your YouTube. Now, by the way, that also could be part of your branding. Cause like there was actually a good blog for church marketers that was called church marketing sucks. Kind of took a poll cause it most of the time does. It was about tips, you know, like how to create friendships that don't suck. Maybe that's on brand for you, but just a thought, a different like positioning. Um, and I get that. So as I read it more, this might be good for you, Naomi. I don't know. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Naomi. I'm a former sucked at friendship type of girl who had no clue till I walked in the valley of despair, loneliness, and bitterness. This is cool. I don't know if it's meant to be formatted this way, how it like it just drops down and then I have with a new sentence that could be fixed up. I've learned a whole lot from terrible experience. So I like that you tell your story. You tell your story and I get the promise. Um, here's a channel that I want you to study as you're just starting. I honestly think for your kind of channel, I want you studying charisma on command because I think a couple things. So study charisma on command, my friend, Charlie, because he's teaching people again, a little bit about relationships, but he's also teaching about psychology, charisma, influence, and check out our charisma on command interview because it's also very insightful. I just think that watching this on the ground floor, um, how to get more subscribers and make video uh, better videos on YouTube. I feel like it's just perfect for what your channel could turn into and what it could be because you're helping people. Cause it's kind of a weird thing to like position yourself as a friendship expert, your first experience, but everybody has to do it at some point. Your first, your first example is having sucked at it, which is great. But I think if you look at what Charlie does, you could build a whole nother vertical of authoritative content that'll help people with relationships. You could consider doing interviews with authors and people who wrote books, which in your space, that's more content. That'll help growth hack your thing. I think friendships can scale to the moon. So you're in a brand and a vertical that could really grow. I think that, um, uh, you know, eventually, if you really play this thing out, like you could be going on like Oprah or being in a magazine in three years as like a leading friendship expert. Why? Because you've, you've interviewed, you know, a hundred of the top experts on, on relationships and friendship. You've read all the books, you've shared the tip videos you've had on guests, just a couple of thoughts um, of where this could go. So a little bit of the branding. I love this loving. You're really good. Like this is a great thumbnail. Uh, they're all pretty good. They're all great. Some are better. That one, I really like them. Good readable. It's interesting because national is kind of hard. Like that looks like a yational. I get it. Obviously, I figured it out. It says National Friendship Day. Hey, homegirl stands out to me. These are both readable, even though they're not minimalist fonts. Positivity. I guess friendships is kind of hard to read. So again, you want clear over clever or even clear over creative, in my opinion. But then... Just It's just priority. It's not that you shouldn't be clever or creative. It's that clarity comes first, the order of priority. Is this clear? Yes. Can it also be creative? Yes. Can it also be clever? Yes. Is this clever? Yes. Is it creative? Yes. Is it clear? No, it's hard to read. Wrong order. Change it if it's not clear first. But I'm, I'm loving them. I'm just being a little overly critical because I think they're great. Uh, let's see. So we have you guys reference the you guys rant earlier up to you, your own philosophy. If you weren't here, watch the replay that I guess maybe I'll leave up for a while, but you start with you guys. I'm going to go two X speed here. Okay. I want to share with you guys some books that want to stir up your friendship. So now I'm actually kind of confused. So let's break this down. This will help think, right? All of us. First of all, I'm 20 seconds in. I don't know what the video is about. Now you're telling me I want to share with some books with you, but we're 21 seconds in and it was, Hey guys, I kind of got up late. I got it. Now here's what's happening with that communication is, Hey guys, we'll be pumped, but that's 19 subscribers. So this is why I talk about the hook. This is why like, um, curious about what, uh, what some of the best books on creating stronger friendships are. Uh, that's why I'm going to be talking about this video, but Hey, if we're just meeting, you know, my name is Dora. Did I get that right? 
sorry, just looking through here. Um, I think you sent on your about page. I apologize. So Naomi, thank you, Naomi. That's what I would say. You know, hey, I'm Naomi, and I and, and like you can always you know like if we're just meeting, I'm Naomi, and I tell you what, I went through five years of of loneliness from I'm just making this up, you know, from not having um. Uh, strong relationships with my life. And then finally one day I got fed up and I said, I got to, I got to figure this out. So I've studied every book and I've, you know, I've, I've read it. And that's why I created this YouTube channel. Not because I figured this all out, but because I'm on the journey with you. And besides sharing the best books and the things I've learned, I'm excited to also bring you the experts, you know, whatever. So just kind of a thought about how you start your videos So then maybe you read some stuff out of these, which is great. But again, there's this goes into positioning, how you actually position the video itself. And some of these things, you I hope you can see on this now almost three hour live stream that this these ideas of positioning your content, positioning your branding, positioning your messaging, it's a big deal. And those are these are the levers that can trigger the difference between scaling and growing massive influence and not making it. Because keep this in mind, like a stranger, if a stranger lands on this, doesn't see even this how-to friendship channel and just reads this and they, they don't know what it is, they're gone. So you're missing a subscriber. If someone watches your video and is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten things you can only do on a live stream that's going long, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So in this video, I'm gonna be covering, like that's how long 21 seconds was. You have the attention span of a goldfish, a study showed. A goldfish have eight second attention spans because of social media. Microsoft did a study, humans have seven second attention spans. You gotta get to the point, man. You gotta be, you gotta be clear. You gotta lead with the point, with the, the message. Here's the thing, you can lead, you gotta lead with the hook. You gotta position the video, you gotta get people interested. Then you could take a break. It's just the order, it's the sequence. You could say, this is what the video is about. This is why it matters to you. You're talking to your audience. Then you could say, hey, if we're just meeting, you know, I woke up this morning. These are some of the books I like to go to. You could go there later, but not in the first hook time, man. That's, that's make or break time. And that's gonna be the difference between scaling your YouTube channel or potentially maybe staying stuck and not growing is making some of these tweaks. So I think that should be really helpful. Um, wh here's what I'd like to say to encourage you too, Naomi, is that A, I love your various vibe, your your ability to do graphic design, even hearing your energy on camera and seeing what you're doing here. You're great. I think it's just tweaking some of your orders, tweaking some of the positioning and all that kind of stuff. <sighs> hey, couple things, live stream crew. Um, and I gotta eat some dinner, man. How many super chats did we do? <laughs> How many were they? If I missed them, tweet me another tweet with a picture of your super chat. I think we hit them all. Couple things. I know that uh, just the things to put on your radar if you're still here, clearly you're pretty hardcore. I don't know if you heard we're doing a live event. So if you wanna join me, we've sold out quite a bit of tickets already. We're in the home stretch. The event's gonna sell out, but there is still a few tickets remaining. We still have a couple weeks. It's, um, it's actually a month out, this event is. We're doing a live event in Vegas called Growth Video Live. Um, come join us if you can make it out. Uh, if you really want to come and you can be there and you've got some kind of circumstances or something, um, the ticket prices just went up. But you could always tweet me, DM me, reach out. I'm not saying we can do anything, but we just want to get the right people there. It's going to be a killer event. GrowWithVideoLive.com. GrowWithVideoLive.com. Think Media, you should be there. It's, an, it's a big investment, and obviously it's a big investment to get to Vegas, um, but it'll have a big impact on your business, your brand, your income. And then the other thing I would say is the biggest, though, thing to do right now as we sign off is go to tubemasterclass.live. We covered a major theme here, right? The major theme was you got to get clear 
um, and really figure out your positioning. And that is what this is all about. This one is at two masterclass.live. The promises here are three fatal mistakes on YouTube and how to fix them. Those f three fatal mistakes are figuring out clarity. So there's a deep dive training. I'm giving you them right now, but you can watch the training for free. Um, productivity. I was saying stuff. I was giving advice like, look, man, if you double your videos, you could double your views. You'd be like, Sean, that's, that's a pretty tall order though. Well, not if you boost your productivity. If you can get more done in less time, if you can be more disciplined with your schedule, and I don't even mean being crazy. I just mean, mean intentional, strategic, and planned out. Heather on my team actually teaches that part portion. And she breaks down like she is a homeschool mom, two kids, married, volunteers at church, does her homeschool channel. We just looked at it though. She needs some uploads. Clearly she's busy. She built that whole thing to over 10,000 subscribers though in less than 10 hours a week and not even working on it every week. So she talks about productivity and then strategies. So anyways, Tube, if you want to watch some more canned content, you want to level up and you haven't seen it, that's T-U-B-E masterclass.live. Definitely check that out. Um, thank you everyone for the super chats. We ended them a long time ago because this stream has been two hours and 46 minutes. What are we even talking about? Um, and... So yes, Super Chat reviews are, are uh, I apologize, they are closed. Tweet me, we could hit it up next time. I really appreciate the love and the Super Chat. Thanks for the value. Um, Cheryl, thanks for being here. Super pumped to be able to hang out with you guys like this. We've never really done something like this before. Doug, appreciate the crispy comment. Um, we have this set up over on Kit, if you want to ever check it out. Kit.com, Sean Cannell, my... Uh, Live stream setup. This is GH5 plugged into a PC. It's kind of crazy. Dude, I'm hungry. Dude, it's 922. I'm going to eat some dinner, fam. Come on, Think Media fam. So this is the live streaming setup. Kit.com forward slash Sean Cannell. If you ever want to check that out. Hey, man, I appreciate it. Thank you, uh, Kike. I'm going to get dinner. Uh, and super pumped to dive in. We'll do more of these. And so I hope that... Um, we can do this stuff. And yeah, I will jump on. We, I, I will make sure to get to, always hit me up, remind me that, yo, you did a channel review at some time. I'll do some future Facebook Lives, YouTube Lives. Um, really appreciate you guys hanging out. Check out some of that other training and the video we did earlier on Think Media. Uh, and in the meantime, keep crushing it, keep smashing it. And remember that this channel is all about bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. Stay committed right now, man. I know it's hard. I know it could be discouraging. Keep posting videos. Keep leveling up your learning. Keep investing in yourself. Keep pacing yourself because it's a marathon, not a sprint. And uh, really, really appreciate you. All right. Kick the tires and light the fires. See you, Think Media fam, in the next video.